Yes. Hey guys. Right. Welcome to D4, where I, Devin. And I, Dustin, Cody am a fifth edition game of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. Oh. We get to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are back. Um, we had a, a wonderful trip uh, through Paranoia, Wait. through Alpha Complex uh, last uh, last week. So happy to be back. Uh, I am back in town, so. I yeah. thought you were saying where you are back, like you and the mouse in your pocket from the trip you were on. Uh, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well. Anyways, uh, we want to remind you all to subscribe to twitch.tv slash rockpunchatl. Remember to resubscribe if you are using Twitch Prime. And at 150 subscribers, we're, we've are we given that away. We got other things that we'll. Once talk we about. get to that, yep, yep. yep. Um, and then a uh, reminder that Session Zeroes will be released once we reach, reach 225,000 bits. We put bits on hold for the Extra Life campaign. Thank you so much for everything you uh, donated. We'll get to that in a second. But now we're focusing back on bits um, so that we can get those Session Zeroes because a lot of information has come out. And a lot more will make sense once you guys watch that. We're so close. So Very close. close. So, so close. close. Like a couple thousand yeah. close. So close. Um, <clears throat> thank you. To everyone, we were able to raise over ten thousand dollars in under two weeks. Woo! Woo! Unbelievable, you guys! We reached all of our stretch goals, and we're here to tell you to start checking your emails connected to your extra life over the next week or so, because we're going to start doing our raffles and drawing the winners um, of that. Um, that's going to include uh, the maps. Uh, it's going to include level up dice set, a wormwood dice vault. Um, Eldritch Foundry Eldritch Miniatures. Foundry at, at the Eldritch, Eldritch Foundry Miniatures. Um, those are going to come, uh, and then once we do those winners, those, those will come once they have the release in October. Yeah, October um, 22nd. But yeah, we have so many things to give away, and we cannot wait, and it's going to be amazing. And remember that everyone that donated has the same chance as everyone else, no matter the dollar amount donated. Uh, we are excited to be able to give away all of the wonderful prizes for all those that helped us achieve our goals and helped give children in need a chance to live a life of adventure. Um, <clears throat> saying that, we are also only a few weeks out from Gamehole Con, happening in Madison, Wisconsin, from October 1st to November 3rd. Remember that we will all be there and uh, running a special one-shot Extra Life adventure that pair that can pair uh, nicely with the Descent into Avernus campaign. So if you're running the new campaign, you can add this to it to torture your players even more. And you can affect the players that we have here uh, in their character design and quirks and the way they look, subclasses, classes, all that, uh, by donating now to the d4extralife.com page. Uh, or while we play live, to really cause fun and chaos in the game as we play, just like at Dragon Con. <clears throat> and the past uh, couple of weeks with Extra Life. Yeah, that's right. That's true. It's going to be super fun and crazy. Uh, so we are very excited to announce that we have a very special guest tonight. Um, they will not be sitting at the table playing, but they are at a table just off camera. Uh, and we actually have a camera on them. We have Pin of Smiting joining Woo! us tonight. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, and they will be um, doing live art of the episode tonight from various moments and whatnot. So we are super excited that they are with us. And we want to give a big warm welcome uh, to Pin. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and uh, we can't wait for you to see what they uh, draw for us. Yes, and if you haven't checked them out, go check out their comics. They're hilarious. They're awesome. They really uh, are. And um, role-play focused, mainly. Yeah. So you see a lot of They're familiar really characters if you listen to other people's <laughs> podcasts and Still things. Still Arcanum pops up on there, and it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you can all see, we are all wearing a specific shirt tonight. It is uh, Pride Weekend. And Here in Atlanta. Yep. Yeah. And so, so we are all wearing Pride shirts in support uh, from Cantrip Candles and Noble Dwarf Printing. So. Yep. Um, the, awesome. the, the design was made by uh, Palos Pixels and Cantrip Candles. Um, and uh, they're using the hashtag Roll with Pride. Um, and uh, we'll get a link out there uh, to get that. Um, but it's nobledwarf.com slash rollwithpride cotton t-shirt by cantripcandles.html. But again, we're going to put that in the chat so that way you guys can cl click on it. And if you would like to uh, support this amazing cause, um, you can do so with that. Yes. And uh, with that, we're going to hear a little bit from our sponsors. Hello. It's me again, Patrick Logan with D&D Beyond. <gasps> Everything. <gasps> yes. <laughs> is, is, are we shocked? Oh my god. This is like every, every week. I think. What? Wait. Every week. Sorry. You're what? Who are you? Patrick. 
Patrick Logan. <laughs> the Patrick Logan. With I know. It's overwhelming. Oh my God. <laughs> That's enough of that nonsense. <laughs> um, Please D &D sign this. <laughs> DMD Beyond always is doing interesting. <laughs> 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 it was seamless, you guys. Sign is DMD Beyond. Um, it did. It says D Beyond. <laughs> In any case, DMD Beyond is always doing interesting things. It's sent to Everness. It's obviously still going on. The Wall Cats, um, that uh, beautiful, beautiful little fish people book is still being done, and all of the proceeds of that are going to Extra Life. Check that out. If they buy that enough, that becomes permanent, that becomes lore. We want these tiny fish people to become lore. Perfect. They are adorable. They Perfect. are adorable Amazing. little fish people, and they need to be uh, made into the actual lore of the game. Um, one thing I didn't want to talk about today is that they do a lot of articles on D&D Beyond, and one of them caught my eye called Infinite Corpse of Nonsense Part 1, uh, written by Dan Tiefer. Uh, Telfer, sorry. Um, it's on the front page right now for how many months, but it got me thinking. Um, go and read that article, because it's A, funny, and it's got a really weird uh, kind of bent to it. I won't spoil it for anybody. Um, but I gotta be thinking about it. Harold. Yes? You're going down an alley. Okay. And all of a sudden, you see a corpse. I do. Not so fast, Harold. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Mm hmm? I need to loot that corpse, right? You're, you're absolutely correct. You're gonna loot that corpse? I want to. Not so fast. Okay. First do a smell check. Oh. A smell check? How old is this corpse? <laughs> oh, it's fresh. Oh, it's fresh. Careful on a fresh corpse. When looting a fresh corpse, the watch have not discovered it yet, and the murder may have been soon. You may be implicated in the murder of this corpse you've just found. Damn. You need to wait until that corpse starts to rot a little bit. Okay. Then you can have those sweet, sweet purple pants. Yeah. You've purple. come back three days later. The corpse is still there, and it's a good rot. Ooh, it's a, it's a smelly rot. But not so fast. <laughs> okay. Wait, why is the corpse still there for three days? If the wall Don't question this. This is in a dark corner. <laughs> I was about to say, have I found it yet? <laughs> not so fast, Harold. Okay. There's a man there. Uh oh. He got to the corpse before you. Can't be having that. No, you can't be having that. What do you do, Harold? I'm gonna take him down. But what are you gonna do? How are you gonna take him down, Harold? I, I, I don't know. What should I do? What will you do, Harold? I Does punch him. Need to be made. You punch him? Yeah, I punch him. Oh no, you just punched a were rat. Oh, <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have thought twice before punching a were rat. Corpses that smell awful will often attract were rats. <laughs> were rats will come up from the sewers and go, "Hey, this looks like a good spot to eat and get things." You want to eat and get things, don't you, Harold? I'd like that. Well. When, when looting corpses in the street, always carry a little bit of silver on you. Silver will stun and scare off the were-rats. It's the only thing that can pierce their hide. Boss wish he knew that when he was fighting a were-rat. <laughs> 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 well, now you've got a corpse, Harold, but what are you going to do with it? Uh, I'm going to loot it. Where do you start? The pants. Oh, man. Harold went with his first instinct and went to the pants. Unfortunately... Pants are cursed. This is what killed the man in the first place. Harold, when looting a corpse, always start from the top down. Head, you're not dead. Pants are the last place you're supposed to go. Knowing this easy rhyme <laughs> will help you know where to begin looting a corpse. Now Harold, having done it properly beforehand, now has himself a new five gold pieces. And no cursed pants. And no cursed pants. When you lure corpses in your games, always remember, the head will not leave you dead. The pants are the absolute last place you check. It rhymes. <laughs> in Russian. <laughs> Somewhere. Thank you. Dialect. Logan. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Logan. Yes. <laughs> the articles. They've got a lot of really neat articles written by some talented authors. Amazing. Yeah, no, they do. They, they do. Um, hi, Goblin Kid. <laughs> <laughs> to talk to you about a little thing called Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium Warehouse. And today I want to discuss one of the things that is included in the Platinum Edition box. Um, it has been posted on Twitter and in other places, so I'm hoping that this doesn't count as a spoiler, because I think most of you have probably seen it. Have you ever heard of Holly Fence? It rhymes with pants. It does. In fact, they are the cutest things in the world. They look like a cross between an elephant and like a two-winged dragon. And they're <laughs> golden and they have little white eyes. Right. And that is it. And you get a plush one in the oh. new Platinum Edition box. Oh, wow. I want and it. they are ridiculous. It's like a mammoth Pegasus. 
It is. It is the most ridiculously adorable thing ever. I really it's want one for wow. Seisha. I would have a prop. Um, but anyways, so I cannot recommend enough that you go to beetleandgrims.com. And if you look under the tab that says Avernus First Reveal, scroll down until you get to WTF. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> you can also get tons of awesome swag. You can get shirts. You can get props. Uh, they still have a few of the Sinister Salt Marsh uh, Silver Edition boxes, so you can get on that. And they are down to very, very low numbers in the Platinum Edition box. So make sure you get on that. Tell your group that you want to raise it to the next level. Tell everybody to kick in some cash and get it today. Beetleandgrims.com. Bam! Woo! All right, I have a really great story for you guys. So, first time I ever played Dungeons and Dragons, I thought the whole thing came in like a neat little kit where you get like little figures and like mats and like all of this stuff. I thought it was all put together like a board game because I was stupid. And, um, <laughs> So my friends, you know, they're helping me create a character, which at the time was like some like rogue elf, like everyone else's starter character. <laughs> oh god! And we go to play, and I'm just like, so like, do I get a little character thing? And they're like, no. You use a dice, a die. Excuse you. And <laughs> I. <laughs> was just like, that's stupid. That's stupid and I hate that. And I really request that I have a figurine. And they were like, Katie, we don't have figurines. And I was like, well, we should invest because that's stupid. I don't think this little dice on here that represents the bad guys I'm fighting is really menacing, is it? It doesn't really instill any fear in any hearts at all. In fact, you kind of laugh at them and you start taking the game a little less seriously, which is why figurines are so important. And in less than 10 days, nine days, October 22nd, you can make your super cool detailed figurines with Eldritch Foundry. And they're super awesome, super detailed, upcoming customizable 3D miniatures, and pretty much the amount of detail you can get with your characters is like the similar to the amount of detail you can get in all of the old school RP uh, games like Baldur's Gate, Planescape Torment, and Skyrim. So if you're tired of using stupid little D6s as your character, as you should, yeah, that's lame. Oh God, I hate that die. <laughs> <laughs> that's lame. Um, uh, go to Eldritch Foundry, what are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. This is in Katie Adkins with Eldritch Foundry. Katie Adkins with Eldritch Foundry? What? Yes, I know it's true. It's me. Who's the Katie Adkins? <laughs> oh, oh, it's the Tiger Wizard. I'm so glad you asked. I'm also the Tiger Wizard. Hold your applause. <laughs> okay, you can go. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you like the show? I know I do, because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I'm in it is because the people here, Rock Punch, uh, they're, they're the company that makes all this possible, and they're fantastic people. They're hilarious in their own right, and they do all the behind-the-scenes work that make this show possible. They're hard workers. They're awesome. We love hanging out with them, and without them, the show wouldn't be possible. If you would like to hang out with them as well, you should definitely join their Discord. You can scroll down on the Twitch page, and it's right down there. Join in. You can even talk to us. Sometimes we're in there too. We'd love to be able to chat with you. So feel free to join and watch all through throughout the week because they have lots of cool stuff and more games coming. More tabletops are coming. Uh, I believe you have one there now, don't you? I do. Sex, Love, and Monsters, so which we're going to start that up on November 7th. Boom. So Ding. make sure you're taking a look because the, the site always has lots of cool stuff on it. Uh, you can see them at twitch.tv at rock, uh, rock Punch ATL, or you can see them at YouTube at just Rock Punch. Lots of great content, and they even have, oh, wow, rude! I'm so rude. <laughs> if you take a look, there's actually highlight clips, and I recommend you show those to your friends. Show them some highlights from D4, some of the best moments. Maybe you get some new fans in here. Um, <laughs> hey, you like no. merchandise? Because <laughs> it's awesome. There's super soft T-shirts. Try one. It's at d4dnd.com. I don't have a cool story. I'm just gonna tell you to go to the website and look at the cool stuff, like shot glasses and wine glasses. 
because you're an elf and you don't drink out of regular glasses. Those are for the half breeds. <laughs> wait. Hey. No, wait, I drink out of D. <coughs> I don't know. I drink out of D4 stuff. I'm sorry, but if you drink wine out of the mug, what are you doing? It's <laughs> right. You're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's called morning wine. <laughs> morning wine. That Most important wine, wine of the day. Wine. It definitely wine. is not wine. And without mug. further ado, <laughs> let us immerse ourselves into the chronicles of D4. It's made of grapes. It's fruit for breakfast. Morning wine. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> All right, so uh, last time on Difficult Deliveries and a Diabolical Diatribes. The players had just retrieved the stone from the, the Grauhun Nimble Rite, and um, they were confronted by the drow that work for Commodore Zord and demand the stone in favor for saving Renair's life. Upon refusal, another combat ensued with the uh, added arrival of the silent flying gaunt night beasts. Uh, the neighbors got involved, the watch got involved, the Zintarm thugs got involved. It was pure chaos. And as the, uh, as the fight for the stone came to a head. Um, seeking a reprieve in their tavern, they had a, a discussion of what to do with the stone and agreed to, to tell no one, not even their closest friends. After that, they met with Maloon War Dragon, a member of Force Grey, and one of Rhaenyra's old adventuring buddies to go over a mission for, uh, for the Black Staff. It was an easy snatch and grab job of getting precious cargo off a ship before it disappeared. We started with Voss and Viomiliana sneaking around the cargo of the ship while a uh, distinctly uncomfortable Vinley sat with the crew playing liar's dice. <laughs> Thanks to the cunning application of uh, an altar self spell she appeared to the men as one of their fellow mercenaries finally locating the crate they had been set to retrieve for maloon of the great hands of force great actually a force great member not a great hand um <coughs> great hand. uh voss and v began to sneak their way around the ship looking for this crate unfortunately they were spotted and things quickly dis devolved into chaos <laughs> as Finley table flipped the crate <laughs> of the game, scattering everything and snuffed out the light uh, as it then quickly turned hectic. Uh, the trio made their way to the deck, V carrying the cargo. Harold, who had been distracting the on-deck crew with a brilliant performance, decided to create an even bigger distraction <gasps> by playing the drum that he found at uh, Trinkets and Tronics. Tronkix that summons a horrific assembly of fiends known as the Carnival of Rust. <laughs> a small skirmish uh, ensued with the majority of the naval mercenaries fleeing the area. Uh, once their path was cleared, Harold shattered the drum and the carnival was left to haunt the ship. Like, not every plane's a winner. Harold, 
then goes to find Seisha, who was seated at the bar with two members of the City Watch, having distracted them from patrolling the docks by asking to discuss their professions over drinks. She learns about the guard and the city wards. The pair are approached, uh, are uh, appreciative of her questioning and a genuine uh, gratitude of the watch and her interest. Uh, and the three part ways pleasantly. Um, <clears throat> once reassembled, the BFGs are told by Maloon that they, they next need to deliver the cargo to the Xanathar. This was in order for him to find out who the Xanathar was, because Maloon had been infiltrating the guild as a double agent for Force Grey. The party traverses an underground cavern tunnel system full of magically corrupted mushrooms, cliff edges over sunken seas, where Seisha almost met her doom, and lastly, a sewer system that led to a dark foreboding rooms of the Xanathar, covered in ancient magical script and looming carved eyes that seemed to follow them as they ventured through. Upon reaching the lair, Maloon was sent away by Nasca, a dwarf covered in tattoos, uh, into a 50-foot radial room with a domed ceiling. Inside, they were greeted by the sight of a Kenku being disintegrated. At the far end of the room was a dark-skinned man dripping in shadows, a creature that looks like a floating brain jellyfish with sharp beak mouth. And in the center was the illithid that corrupted Seisha's brain the night she tried to kill Voss. Jerk! A yep. giant <laughs> holographic visage of a floating eye centered in the room looked down upon them as a booming, shrill voice echoed out demanding praise as well as the Stone of Golor. No thanks. A deal was struck between the party and whatever entity may have been <clears throat> talking to them through grandiose theatrics. In turn for the stone delivered with the other two missing eyes, the Xanathar Guild will help them take down his head assassin, known as the Rose. The party was reunited with Maloon in the uh, great fighting pit, the Blood and Fortune, where a small halfling woman was seen being beaten to death by a massive minotaur. While leaving, Voss noticed a few echoes of his past, but choosing to go home, uh, they briefed Maloon on everything they found out and planned to gain his aid in hunting down the other eyes. With everyone making their way back home and into bed, Voss takes Harold aside to discuss coercing Lord Grawhun in his vulnerable state into making a deal that will benefit the party with their current endeavors. And that is where we start tonight's episode. I know this is very juggalo of me, but I always want to call it the Carnival Carnage. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Instead, carnival I did carnage. Carnival of Rest, and was like, it's the Carnival of Carnage. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But could you imagine that ship on the water now? You just hear do 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 in the <laughs> distance, and you're like, no, no, it's the ship. <laughs> so, turn off any percussion. Uh, v, Vinley, and Seisha have all made their way into um, the upper thralls of the tavern that is your home while Harold and Voss stay just a few steps behind. I just want to note that I got the day's scraps mm -hmm. of meat from the kitchen. Okay, and, and you're going up. to. Yeah, I want to feed my baby. Yep. Um, I, while I still have Voss here, I'm going to say, before we do this, I just want to make it clear. I'm, a, I'm not the biggest fan of Growlhund because of what he did to Salazar. B, and, and not to mention the other people in the city. B, the fact that Salazar is eventually going to wake up, and if we're working with this guy, he's going to start questioning why we're working with the guy that almost killed him and did kill other people. I mean, I understand, and I agree that we need to take any advantage we can. I'm just, I don't know if it's totally sitting with me. What do you think? You were there. I'm not worried what Salazar would think. I'm worried about surviving the night. Growlhun has connections as well as arms. He's in a very vulnerable state right now. And with people inside of those arms, we can make the right connections. And it may have just increases our chances of surviving this. I know you're uncomfortable. 
used to making these kinds of decisions with the place before the day is done. We're going to need to if we're going to learn to survive. And I need you. I don't have your way with words. I'm in. We need help. And more than we've got. And I don't want people working for us dying for it. Thank you. I don't know about you, though. I need some sleep. You need some sleep before whatever you're about to say is saying you don't need sleep. I'm saying we need to go tonight. Tonight? Think about it like this. We aren't the only ones who'll come back. Are you sure there won't be cops waiting there? There are. We will check out the scene and see if we have an opportunity. It's a hop, skip, and a jump away. I just don't know how we're going to get in that huge place. We'll deal with that when we come to it. But you helped. Technically. What does technically mean? Oh, you weren't there for that, huh? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> How to say this? You eat the baby. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> How do I put this? Um, he's still he's, alive, right? He is. Miraculously. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, well, you know, when V jumped out, uh, and Vinley uh, <laughs> used feather fall. See, Growlhund didn't wait the three seconds he needed to because we told him not to. And so he did a double gainer off the side and the kids got caught. But he swan dove straight into some pavement and while I would have given him a 10 out of 10, it wasn't what we wanted. Uh, long story short, a little bit of healing and a small argument later, and he was running right to the cops. Everything's okay. So, you know. We'll see what his status is tonight. He's in the hospital. I would prefer speaking to him tonight. Yeah. Oh, God, I hope they wrapped up his head. Anyway, yeah, let's anyway, do it. we need to discuss with the group before we head off. Well, yeah. You'll join me for a drink at the end of it, and then we'll head. Sounds good. <clears throat> All hilarity aside, you remember that he uh, landed and his knee dislocated. Oh, I thought he banged his head. No, no he his, is... his legs went like. Okay, then I will explain it as that. <laughs> no, I like what you said. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. What I said is what I said. Carol was in a panic anyway. He wasn't paying attention. He screamed. He's probably, he's probably dead. Sure, it's fine. Probably dead. It's um, probably so, dead. well, I guess we'll head back inside. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go into the tavern. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going where they are, right? Where are they? We're all up in our rooms. Oh, yeah. oh all you're all together. in the rooms. Yeah. yeah, they all went okay. to bed. Okay, never mind. No, okay. Let's let's, let's let's do it. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna go to Harold's room. I oh. assume it's where he went. And you go up there. And like, hey, Harold. No answer. Harold. Ah! Fuck. I open the door. <laughs> it's not locked. I, yeah, I mean, uh... You ought to not be in here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm like, that's weird. So I'm if like... you don't like me, choose the other one. Where would he go? Maybe, maybe he'd go to Foss's room? I'll go to Voss's room, see if Harold's there. Okay, you go. Snoop around some more. Right? Knock on the door. Hey, Voss, is Harold with you? Boss? No answer. Boss? Are you ignoring me because Harold's not with you? <laughs> <laughs> I go to try to open the door. It's, it would be locked. It's locked. Yeah. I'm just like. <sighs> That's weird. That my door is locked. I go to Seisha. No, just let no one's responding. Okay. I go to Seisha's room. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, I have, has, did Harold talk to you tonight? I wanted to talk to him about what happened earlier. Yeah, no, I, I hadn't had a chance yet. I had to feed the baby. Okay, because he's not in his room, and Voss's door is locked with no response. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. What? You don't... I mean, they didn't come upstairs with the rest of us. They stayed on the street. You think they left? No, I think something grabbed them. I come walking up. Hey, can I use one of your bats? <laughs> <laughs> the, the mundane adventures of Dungeons and Dragons. Harold and Boss are gone. They apparently didn't come.
come inside. I just assume they went to their rooms. Just... No, I'm I'm worried something grabbed them. I mean, we just got out of that that den of thieves. And... <laughs> okay, we'll find them. I'm sure they're around. We'll check the kitchen. Maybe they're downstairs. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's nothing really I can do. Well, you can use my bath. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Priorities. <laughs> so yeah, there's bubble bath stuff. You're good. Her bath is nicer than mine. She has a fire place. Oh. It's a yeah. closet. It's really nice. I have a balcony. Don't go naked on the balcony. I have some All right, so before we go, right? <laughs> so, like this. Yeah. so we go downstairs. Yeah. Uh, where are you? Are you guys downstairs at all? Uh, nope, they're not downstairs nope. okay. in the tavern either. What do we do? Uh, do we have a way of like finding them? Um, <gasps> locating Wait! them? No. Darn it! What? I, I could cast well, maybe a spell, there's, maybe but... Maybe they're still outside. I'm exhausted. I go and like peek outside the front door. Uh, will we be heading in? Uh, we, were guys, gonna, we were I think we were going to we go have a drink. Guessing we were going to have a drink. Okay, so if you guys are headed towards the tavern, yeah. and then, yeah? Then so you walk... In the front? Yeah. Hey, oh my God. Seisha runs up and grabs Sorry. each of them in an arm and just hugs them. I try not to let you do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, yeah, you probably succeed. 16 acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, I did not get yeah, you. <laughs> grab Harold and then... <laughs> <laughs> I actually probably end up like punching Harold. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Harold, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I've been hit harder. Are you okay? We were worried you guys vanished. And sorry, we I don't mean to freak Stacia out. I went to Harold's room to talk to him. He wasn't there. I thought maybe he was chatting up with you. So I went to your room and there we was just, no response. We're outside for a little bit. I thought you came inside. It's my mistake. OK, that's fair. Uh, what do you need to talk about? I'm okay, so glad you guys I'll just okay. real quick. Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, I I, uh, I don't know. I just feel like everything that happened earlier with Xanthar is kind of thing with the rose. Stuff like that. Are yeah. you worried about any of that? Yeah, yeah, tremendously. Uh, yes, I'm super fucking worried. Not because of the rose, but yeah. because I know for a fact that thing with the tentacles was reading my brain, and I was definitely thinking about killing it. Where are you now? Yeah. What do you mean reading your brain? I don't know. I uh, felt like a presence washing over my mind, and I felt it pulling things out, and at the time, I was thinking about it, whatever happened to you, and I just thought, I'm going to kill everybody in this room. Wait, I didn't realize it could read our thoughts, and for the first time, I'm actually glad it terrified me, because that was literally the only thing I could think of. Oh, I was thinking of other things. Like what? What, what? Like where the stone was? <laughs> don't tell me where the stone is. I don't want to know where the stone is. Okay. It's not wait, wait, I forgot. Do I, does V know where the stone is? I forgot. You told me. It depends whether you saw where she put it or not. Probably not. Okay, then yeah, don't tell me either. <laughs> That's not the only thing you said. And um, that Maloon was the one who brought us because he's a double agent. <laughs> well, you should tell Maloon to get out of there. Why were you thinking about Maloon at a time like because that? Because I talked about the traitor. There was a giant eye. Maloon. I was thinking about me. He said there's a traitor in our midst. Or something. There's a traitor in our ranks, and I thought he was talking about Maloon, and I thought, oh no, we need to warn Maloon. I didn't know they could read your brain. But wait, 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 wait. The only one I felt reading my wait, brain was that's... that thing, which means that it may have not been reading your brain at the time. I would like to think back, since I have such an exact memory now. Wait a minute. If they can read our brains, that's super impressive that Maloon made it that long as a traitor. Right? I mean, I, mean, I, 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 I think about it from the perspective of this, right? I can read thoughts, but I don't just go around reading every thought I, I find. After a while, it probably gets weird and screwed up. Mind magic really messes with you. And yeah. I assume that eventually he gets to the point where he only wants to read the minds of people he thought were important at the time. So it's a question of if he can do it to more than one person at once, and if he was doing it specifically to you at that time. Yeah, maybe he thought you weren't important. You, you've and already you rolled Arcana on this creature you don't know. Okay. Well, maybe No, I'm saying like, do I, thinking back, do I remember feeling, feeling like there was the... something sifting through my mind? There was a lot going on. Yeah. Um, there might have been something kind of messing with your brain, but there also seemed to be something that controlled um, 
V. Yeah. There yeah. seemed to be something that almost tried to attack Vinley. Yeah. Uh, so there's it's hard to narrow it down exactly because of exact because of the way things worked. Here's the key that we need to keep in mind. We know for a fact Xanathar couldn't do it. Or if he yeah. could, he wasn't doing it at the time. So we don't have to worry about what they read. We just have to make the other guy look like an idiot. If we get to that position where they start saying things and we can do something to make the, that thing with the tentacles on its face look bad, then maybe we can convince it that it's the double agent. I really don't want to face that thing again. Me either. That's why I want to convince it that it's the double agent. Crap, now that I know that it reads minds, I'm probably going to be thinking about like really stupid shit next time. That's good. Think about stupid shit. Don't think about important shit. But what if I think about like really embarrassing stuff? You know what? Whatever. I guess it can know my embarrassing thoughts. It's better no than dying. I mean, I think the only embarrassing thought I can think of is that one dinner where you... Uh, no. I mean, it was pretty embarrassing. Look. There it was happens a lot to of the people. best. It happens to the best of us. They're never going to really get those like stains out of those now. dresses. That was a lot of wine. That was a lot of wine. <laughs> I don't so want to talk about that right now. Next? At the moment, we do nothing. The night is done. All right. There's so nothing else to do. You can mourn Maloon in the morning, if that's what everyone feel. You feel that he might be in danger. I think we should, if that's idea. what was on your fact, mind. Um, I still have a paper bird or two. I, I think I might send him a note tonight. Can I attempt Thieves Cant? Uh, I will make a very <laughs> difficult roll. That was so weird. Uh, I need to say something to him in front of them. Okay, you can attempt to try and say something covertly. Okay. Uh, what would I roll for that? Uh, performance. Yeah. Hey, hey! Performance. And then you're going to roll insight. Okay. That's fair. Can we roll insight too? It'll take you off your passive. Can we have a passive insight? It'll go yeah. off your passive. A 22. 24. 24. Nice. Nope. Yep, you communicate effectively. What do you say? <laughs> I, I say, what I say is like, yeah, I mean, there is, I don't, I don't think there's anything super important we should tell them, but we should say something. Uh, and what, what that translates to is we have to tell them. And he just gives you like this knowing like we have, like almost this, we have to say something to them. We can't just lie to them and be like, we're done for the night. Well, I think it's best if you sleep for the night. You sure? I think it's best if everyone sleeps for the night. I think we're gonna have a hard time sleeping. Inside, is Voss planning to sleep tonight? <laughs> uh, I guess roll it. <sighs> the dice are evil tonight. 16 on deception. 14. Yeah. It's hard to tell. He's Voss. You don't know what he's going to do. All of us? Yes. I mean, I know I'm tired. I'll tell you what. I'll stay up. Just in no. case. Just in case. Where's Vinley? I know. Oh, she's, she's in She's taking in the bath. I know. Biblio can guard the door. Perfect. Biblio can guard the door. I'm going to stay with him just to make sure nothing gets weird. No offense. <laughs> what? And then make sure he actually goes to bed. Oh. Just. Mike, what's that face you're making? Absolutely not. So, whatever, whatever okay. you're trying to imply there. I, you know, this you is a guy I'm, who has gone three days without sleeping in a row. Yeah. And I want to make sure he sleeps while people are trying to actively kill us. Okay, I appreciate it. Don't give me that look. Do you think I'm fucking him? No. <laughs> know what you're into? No. Okay. I, I'm not judging if you are. Oh, I'm, I'm not. just saying, okay. like we would be <laughs> accepting. <laughs> And that is fine. <laughs> and you can be open and honest with us. I would be. I, He's a handsome guy, but we're not. I know okay. you would be, but I could also see him being like, please don't tell them, I'm boss. No, I... <laughs> no, we're not. Okay. 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 I'm sure lots of people probably dream what? about it. <laughs> I don't know, boss. You have a lot of secrets. That's not one of them. I will. <laughs> Okay. Have you guys been thinking about this for a long time? <laughs> I mean... Have you been thinking about this for a long time? Well, no. It just recently came you to mind when I was like... 
Well, I mean, you're in his room a lot. Yeah. Because that's guys, where he stays. <laughs> you guys run off alone together a lot, and I don't know what you're doing. But I didn't actually think you were, because I was like, if he did, he'd tell me. I would. But I was a little upset of, what if he doesn't this time, though? Oh, I would tell you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Oh, uh, yeah, it's apparently news. <laughs> <laughs> I so I'm, I'm glad we cleared this air that I didn't know was cloudy <laughs> with sexual tension <laughs> that I didn't even notice. Oh, it's thick, apparently. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to get a drink now. We'll a, leave you two alone. A platonic drink. You <laughs> make it down to the tavern. We have crushed so many OTPs. <laughs> oh, if okay. If we go back upstairs, I say, don't disturb us if I'm balls deep in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Now I feel like you guys need to shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome to the <laughs> I'm so glad you just outright asked it, because I was like, how is Harold going to subtly, and you just like, is that what you think? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So you guys, you make it your way back down into the tavern. Yes. If that is where you are going. Mm -hmm. uh, As you enter, you see that um, everything is packed up, and Renair is one of the last to leave, as he typically is. Mm -hmm. It is closing time. Gives you uh, a good night, and continues on. Uh, Harold. Harold in a uh, carriage, makes his way off, and what do you guys do? I will get myself an ale. I'll only sip it, not okay. enough to get drunk. Yep. Uh, just kind of like wind myself down a little bit. Now I'm going to turn to him and be like, okay, what, 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 how are we approaching this? He's desperate. We're desperate. Or are we approaching this like you're in a bad position, we're in a strong position? We and approach this like we're the only option that he has, which is the fact. Think about it. I didn't find the stone anywhere, and I'm not the drow who are the only people who know what happened. I would run back there, and I would skin him until he told me. And then if that didn't work, I would skin his children. <laughs> and that's a fact. You that's don't think the Xanathar or the Zentarum would do that? It's true. Now knowing that he has the stone in his possession. And he doesn't also, have it. We're the only people there who aren't trying to kill him. I was the one that talked him down. Were you? Yeah. Good. The only thing I'm also going to throw out there is that if things start going tits up and people start asking questions, he'll sell us out. From the way it sounds, we're already sold out. You'd be surprised. We're gonna play the revenge riff. We're helping him get revenge. Agreed. Okay. You know this game better than I thought you did. Let's do this. Let's get it done. And Harold kind of hits the bar a few times and stands up. Listening. Does it sound like everybody's gone to sleep? Uh. Did, did you, you guys go upstairs? Hmm. Wait. What do the rest of you do when they go downstairs? I'm in a bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a I, um, bubble bath. I'm writing a letter. Okay. 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 I, uh. <clears throat> I, like, go to my room, but then I'm like, oh, why didn't she say the bathroom? And then I, like, leave and I'm like, no, it's still my room. And, like. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, there's another. No, I know, there's another door. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go in the master bedroom and be like, hey, Vinley, I just wanna let you know I'm in my room, so like, yeah, just leave someone <laughs> here. So if, I don't know if you're like planning on walking around naked or something. Um, let me describe what's happening and y'all tell me if I can hear that. Because okay. <laughs> Vinley is in the bath, but she has sunken below the water. So it's just like. Curled up. No, she is underwater. Oh. And she's staying down there, like, as long as she can. So 
Okay. And to almost to the point where she starts like intentionally like shaking. Okay. And like thrashing, and then she'll come up and breathe for air. Okay. Okay. Uh, while you're under there, um, you hear, and then you come up. You know, if you plan on walking around naked. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm back here in my room now, so like, just if you don't want me to see you naked, just don't come waltzing in naked. Got it. I mean, I don't care. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> For your in. privacy sake. I'm back here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You should tell her the news. Oh, yeah. Also, um,. Voss and Harold claim they're not sleeping together, but they might be. Wait, what? <laughs> I just, they're what? Um, so Voss and Harold have openly claimed that they're not hooking up, but Seisha still seems to suspect. So that's uh, news on that front. <laughs> like, that's the latest tea. Let me spill it. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Did okay. you think they were? Seisha definitely thought they were. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Not, never once. <laughs> like, I just. I always just assumed you and Harold were sleeping together. And what? then I'm going to dip them <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to cut back to. <clears throat> I run downstairs and I go back. I'm just going to leave. I have to tell Harold. <laughs> what? Hey, are you serious? Yes. Okay, I guess we're coming back out the front when she comes spearing around the side. Sure. Harold's gonna get all tensed up and like, what? Did you know that Vinley thought that we were sleeping together? Isn't that weird? That's weird. That's weirder. That would be way weirder. That's weirder. Way butterfly weirder. Is on yeah, the I just had, just like, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep on that. <laughs> I had to let you know immediately. Yeah, totally. That's really weird. Okay, anyways, that's all my news. Okay. Okay. As you return to your room, <clears throat> you two, you return to a house devastated in destruction. Although its exterior hides the true havoc that transpired only a few hours ago. The only sign of the slaughter is a few broken windows. Even the glass left behind is gone, swept up already by the dung sweeper's guild. It is not as quiet as it once was, though. Where earlier these streets were nearly empty, there is now what looks to be two patrols walking the border of the house. Not impossible to sneak around, but may cause problems if you're caught. What do you do? Uh, we're outside of the carriage now, right? Oh, you didn't need it's a carriage. A oh, it's a walk. Yeah, it's like yeah. two blocks down the road. Uh, go turn to you. Oh, shit. Okay. You are out of spells. Not out, just out of ones that'll be useful in this situation. Hmm. Remember the, the outlook of the house, um, walled around. And I remember which room <laughs> Ralhund was in. Um, what's the timing on the patrols? Um, <clears throat> they seem to be at uh, Caddy Cornered. And in their in their walk, so if one so is in there, so on the opposite sides, so and they're coming like this, we can go over a wall. That's what I'm inside, thinking. But we need to be absolutely certain there's no one inside when we do this. Okay. Um, can I walk by the front gate, which is she broke? Yes. And yes. See if there's anybody yeah. in the yard. I demolished it. <laughs> um, there is a, a single guard at the gate that is not on the patrol. But there's okay. nobody inside the grounds. It doesn't look to be. Um, if we can make this work, it's worth it. But if we, I mean, is it is it worth what will happen if we don't? I'm going. You don't have to come. Oh, if you're going, I'm going, man. <laughs> Let's do it. I wait for a spot. Um, as soon as they get out of range, and I will attempt to climb the wall up to the top. Um, obviously, I want to do this as quiet as possible. Okay, so. Go ahead and make me stealth checks. Um, yeah. To give you a full rundown of how it was, there was the full side of the uh, the house, the mansion, that was built into the wall uh, as two stories. Then it... Hold up. There's a full side of the house that's been built into the wall? Yes. There's one uh, full side of the house that ha is 
uh, adjacent to the street, and there is a window that is busted, and that was the one where the guy was thrown out of the window and his neck snapped upon the street. That's what I was thinking. That, yeah. That would is not possible, the side with the gate. Would it be possible to stay outside of the corners of the house and swing a rope up to that window? Uh, it is possible with the timing as you're watching. You'd have to wait for one to, like if this is the, the, the side, right? Mm. You'd have to wait for this corner guard patrol to start making their this way. But it also means that this one is coming this way. So you have a limited amount of time. Might be doable. I do it. Yep. Okay. Okay. Still want me to make stealth checks? Yes. yes. Both yeah. of you make stealth checks. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. You and me both. Uh, <laughs> Get myself bardic inspiration. <laughs> Here we go. You can do this. You can do this. <laughs> the heavy breathing's what catches me. <laughs> yeah. So as you um you kind of time it, wait, you both stick the shadows, move, grappling hook already in hand. Toss it up. Go ahead and make me an acrobatics check to, to catch the grappling hook in the window. 16. Easy enough. Catches, taut. Both go up. Both of you make me athletics checks to climb the rope with advantage because it's knotted. Sweet. Okay, that's, that's really good. All right. Uh, 19. Okay. 12. Easy enough. Uh, move right up. You get up, pull it up. Just as you were pulling the rope up, you see the guard coming around the corner and you get it up and kind of duck in. The rope was there long, for lo not there for long, but it may have been long enough, you're not sure. You sit back waiting quietly. The guard moves out of the window, nothing, not seeming to notice you. The window or the room that you're standing in is the foyer where the bloodbath was as you look Look around, you see. Get through. No, that's not the one they went to. Oh, they, that's not the one they went through. They went through the one where the guy was thrown out. The, the guy was thrown out, that's it. Not yep. the one, not, not where no. the kids were thrown out. No. <laughs> <laughs> the babies. Where the guy. Yeah, no, I got it, I got it. Yeah. So you go up and you're in the foray where the bloodbath was. As you look around, you see that it has been wiped up, but the entire room with his white marble on the floor is stained pink. Oh, Jesus you look Christ. down the stairwell and it looks like there was a torrent, a waterfall of blood that poured down this thing from the amount of bodies that uh, filled this room. Blood spatter mm -hmm. covers the Damascus, or Damask uh, printed um, wallpaper that can't be washed out, that's stained into it. <clears throat> and you feel sorry for a second for the servants that had to clean this over the past couple hours. And then, um, as you step into the shadowed room of the master bedroom, you see Lord Grawlhan sitting up in his bed, reading a book by candlelight, as his two younger sons sleep beside him on either side. In a chair in the far right corner is the bald half-orcish man with a cleft lip, who stands at the sight of your pres presence. Heavy crossbow bolt sinks into the doorframe near your head. I immediately, <clears throat> hands up, I also... That was a warning. The next one won't miss. Okay. Leave now and there won't be any problems. I undo... Hey, Ross. Okay. I'll wait. He's a part of the group that saved Zartan and Gath. Barely, your leg is split because of their deception. I do not trust them. That is true. Why did you lie about your wizard being able to aid us? I jumped just as you said I would be okay, and yet I fell nearly to my death. Thankfully, they at least had some compassion and were able to catch these two. Okay, okay, okay. Admittedly, that's my bad. Uh, I can go ahead and explain. Never mind your foolishness. I care not to hear it. Okay. Tell me that you have brought forth a stone. No. Can't tell you that. What I can tell you is that you're in a bad way. We were all in a bad way there. Oh, Ross, mind the children. He kind of looks at his, the two chick kids and kind of like slowly slides his, you know, himself out. 
making sure that he lays their you know, heads down and arms and moves them over as he gets out, um, out of the bed, covers them up. You two follow me. We should discuss this in more private setting. Agreed. Yep. <clears throat> he watches the young middle-aged noble slides out of bed and begins to hobble towards the stairs, trying not to put too much weight on the splint currently locking his knee in place. Eventually, you make it down the marble staircase where you see where it looks like the cascade of waterfall of blood once while was. The blood spatter still soaked into the, <clears throat> the mask textile wallpaper like a Pollock painting. So much carnage in such a tight space. Um, it's, it's horrific to think about how many people died in this room. Eventually, he leads you down into a small locked room just outside of a grand library. And inside the dark room, filled with velvet armchairs, are small statues of mahogany bookshelves. As Lord Grauhan begins lighting the sconces of the room, you see a faux book hollowed out, hiding body and lewd drawings, magically enchanted to cycle through a short instant of movements. He quickly closes the book and stores it away on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's like Playboy. Yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> I make no comment. Uh, I trust you have my confidence in bringing you down here alone, that you will not make an attempt on my life, as others did earlier this evening. However, know that the watch are only a shout away, and thanks to the broken doors and windows, my groundskeeper is no longer confined to the yard. I take out, I slowly take out both of my rapiers and set them on the side. Okay. I, I like, I can put my knife down, but it doesn't mean much, so just trust me. Okay. Well, then... We did not come here for a fight. And what did you come here for? Well, uh, I think we can all agree that uh, the events that transpired were, uh, in a couple of words, fucked up. Um, we came here knowing that you're in a bad position and that everything that just happened ruined a lot of plans. And we assume, since everything has gone down and everything's been in such a bad way, you want to get back at the people who are responsible. Well, so do we. You've heard the old adage, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Everyone who came after you tonight is our enemy as well. You have resources we don't. And we have resources you don't. And we're suggesting an alliance. All right. We have money, just not a lot of it. Most of it went into finding the stone, acquiring the nimble right, the necklace of fireballs, as well as the divination protections on the construct. Mm -hmm. The rest has been fueled toward my wife's ambitions. She is a feisty woman, as are many in her family. Her mother is the worst. But I love her more than anything. And I have plans to resurrect my wife, but it is costly, which is why I needed the stone. I can sense the investigators could tell I wasn't telling them everything. And if they wait long mm -hmm. enough, they'll figure out it, it's us that killed Neverember Spy. You need far more than the stone, then, you know. He found out he's a poor man. Yeah. It would make sense that he'd know. What are you offering? What I'm offering is not only an attempt to resurrect your wife, but to strike a deathly blow at the people who did this to you. For they will return. They cannot find the stone on their own. They will come back to you. Torture you, your children, everything you have. What I am offering you is a potential connection to begin striking them down and find the vault. I can't guarantee the ability to resurrect your wife, but we are the best chance that you have. I can give you a connection to a faction that is split off from the Doom Raiders, that hates, that the splits Zentarum. off from the Zentarum, that hates them just as much as you do. Funding them <coughs> would allow you to begin striking back and find ways to find the vault yourself. In the meantime, we'll all be looking for the stone, and once we have it in our possession, we can all discuss what we're gonna do with it. But we do know that two other criminal organizations have pieces to it that are required for even getting into the vaults. They guard these well, and as we've encountered, they are very powerful themselves. If you're going to have any chance at acquiring the contents, you're going to need a group backing you up. You need us. 
I will agree to your terms. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I will agree on a few conditions. I love my wife. I know that they cannot keep her body forever. If they can't find anything soon, they'll wait for the scheduled funeral and have her body delivered to the family mausoleum, where I suspect they will make their ambush to arrest me. So first, I need to know that you have a way to retrieve her body on that day. Whether it is you or someone you trust, either way, it comes down on you. Where is the body being kept? Castle Waterdeep. I can't get in there. We'll have to wait for but them to drop it off. As I said, it may have a way. Two, she is the brains and power behind our name. I am nothing without her. I will have her return to me once her body has been delivered. What I need from you is to ensure that she has something to come home to. Somehow, we need to make this, all scan this whole scandal and attack on the alley disappear so that our names are not unsullied. So you see unsullied. Harold's our face kind of turn a little angry. He's like, you want to forget what happened in the alley? I want it blamed on someone else so that our names... I think this is more than doable. And lastly, <laughs> if you cannot guarantee the last one, the nimble right has to be removed from the watch's evidence so our name and reputation are not ruined once the truth comes out about the alley when the divination protections wear off. The protection should last until the end of the 10 day. Do this for me, and I will gift you a weapon of your choosing which has been forged from enchanted steel. It will be delivered once I know my family is safe. I would also ask that you make contact with this faction that I've told you of. Could be a useful commission for both of you. Right, I know they could use noble commissions, and I know that you could use a connection to the more or erstwhile you part. you should make those connections and get me in touch with them. Very well. If they can help us do this, then so be it. As I said, I do not care about how it goes. I do not care how it gets done. It just needs to be done. If you want my aid. I'm totally fine blaming somebody else for what happened in the alley. But look at me, Grelhan. I'm always going to remember. I'll always remember. So, and I'm not going to explain to you why it's personal to me, but it is personal to me. So, if I ever get the feeling that you're fucking with us, or you're going to screw us on this deal, you're going to severely regret it. I'm not fucking around. Make an interrogation check. Uh, 17. He kind of <clears throat> understood. Good. <clears throat> we are in a position as off as yours. You'll forgive us if we're tense. That's why it's all going to work out, because everybody's going to have each other's back, and at the end of all this, we're all going to come away squeaky clean no matter what happens. At the end of the day, even if neither of us come away with the stone or any of the, of the wealth, we're all going to come away clean. Understand? Understood. That's the most we can promise. Everything else, we're going to do our best. Good. So are you meeting these faction tonight? Probably tomorrow. Not tonight. Tomorrow. Well, there are two Soon. detectives very close to figuring out what's going on. I don't know how much time we have, but do it soon. I will very persistent. I will get in touch with them tomorrow. And we will begin figuring out exactly how to get the other two things you need. We will be here. Third, I think, is doable. Understood. Thank you very much. I will see you out the front. Thank you. Thank you. No need to go skulking to the shadows. I will have her make sure that you are escorted off property. To know, I just want to know, just for my personal sake, the guy who was in the, the room with him saving him was the same guy I saw clubbing that dude to death, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dope. I'm so glad he survived. Yep. Okay, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy he lived. Okay, cool. Uh, then, yeah, we'll head out. Um, as, uh, as he opens the front door. Um, Herb. And then with that, you see the shadow snake across the ground once again. And with that, you hear the old clinging of rusty tools that hang at his side. You hear the growling of the hounds that stay at his side behind you as all three manifest from the shadows into their physical forms. Please escort. These two off the premises, they are under my protection. 
Yeah. Are hereby my invite. And we, I guess, we'll head back home. Yep. Okay. And you are escorted out. The guard looks kind of perplexed, but doesn't ask any questions. I don't make eye contact. Mm -hmm. uh, as we're heading back, once we're alone, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to kind of sit and think of this for a while. I'm, I'm finally going to say, we're never going to get his wife back, man. He's going to turn on us as soon as he realizes he can't have her back. We have to find another option for her. It wasn't her fault when all this happened. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. I just, if we don't get her back, that's going to be one more enemy, I guarantee it. I thought about this. We just need to keep our eyes open for potential opportunities and hope for the best. But the main thing is, there's no way we're going to be able to hide this from the others. There's no way. We've got to let them know. Agreed. I think tomorrow morning we should tell them what the plan is and tell them what we did. Certainly. When you say certainly like that, I don't believe you. <laughs> because you didn't argue at all. You just said certainly. I'm thinking. I think we tell them this. Because it's going to require some line. We say we came up with the idea while we were in the bar. We didn't want to wake everybody back up, and so we decided to go do it. Sounds like a plan. You've changed considerably since your time spent in the bag in the other dimension. Have I? Yes. I wouldn't tell. I, I, I don't even know. You need to be careful. You're going to make us enemies before you even realize it. I understand you're angry. <clears throat> Lashing out him like that doesn't accomplish anything. It lets him know we mean business. Does lashing out at Xanathar do the same thing? That's a different kind of lashing out. Is it? He read my mind. I'd have played the part. This guy? But the moment she was in danger, the fact. You better believe I'd do the same thing if it was you. You shouldn't. We all got weaknesses, man. Nobody fucks with my people. This is why the rose has a leash on me. And he's gonna die too. Speaking of, we have an opportunity. Xanathar is certifiably insane. Yeah, <laughs> he's batshit. Which means, if we could convince him, we have a way in to Xanathar's guild. We at least know of a portal that leads to there. We know that the Xanathar and the Zintaram are fighting. We need both of the eyes that they have. The easiest way to do this is to set them against them, each other and then be in an opportune position. So, we can do this one of two ways. We can either find a way to get into the Zentarum's base and then lead the Xanathar there and convince them they have the stone. But we already know a way to the Xanathar base. So, knowing that, you may be able to convince your friend <coughs> who appears to be a part of that guild. <sighs> to do that, we may need a replica of the stone. I can get that. Oh. I know a lot of uh, crafty people at the college. I could call in a favor or something. The Harpers, maybe. We have options. Something to think about. Yeah. In the meantime, the main thing we need to be thinking about is that if they did read our minds, and if they do know, they're going to be sending assassins to the bar. And if they don't want to get us, they'll go get some of the weaker ones. That puts Pixel and Backlin in a bad position. They've always been in a bad position. This is a worse comments. position. What do you want to be done? Then put under 24-hour surveillance? No, I mean we need to act fast. We need to get this stone out of our hands as quickly as possible. I agree. But unfortunately, there's very little we can do to help the people around us directly. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow morning we tell them. We have to tell them. Because if we... That brings up one more thing. One more little thing. Little... Just a little... 
can't help but notice there's still a, like a tiny bit of tension between you and V, just small, very <laughs> tiny amount. Like a little bit of, like a li just a little bit of pure hatred. Where's this going? <laughs> is there any way you two can work on that? I You're a guy who's all about efficiency, right? Right? Sure. Right now, the one last little, Ooh. I guess, what's the word I'm thinking of? It, 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 everything cycles into this one place and it's making things inefficient. Because when the two of you are together, I mean, y'all, you hate each other. And that's fine. But if you didn't, think about how much more we could do. I'm just saying, I've known V for years. She's one of my closest friends. And it's not because she, I mean, she is my closest friend. And it's not because she's, like, funny or because she's uh, nice. I mean, she's all of those things. But it's, it's because she knows her shit. I mean, she's not an idiot. She really isn't. She's great. Me and her have gotten through a thousand scraps together just through sheer willpower and cleverness, and a lot of that cleverness is hers. And if you could see it the way I see it, you two could be best friends. Okay, you two could tolerate each other in the same room. And that's something. That's a step four. That's efficiency, right? Isn't it? Sort of? The fact of the matter is, you two are like two of my closest friends, and it sucks that you hate each other so much because I see so much great in both of you. And if you could try to see the great in her, I think maybe she might start to see the great in you. Couple things. Okay. You're not wrong. Oh, why, thank you. Yeah, I do hate her. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, that's <laughs> not what I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, all right. <laughs> Listen, Harold, uh, I tolerate the fact that she's your friend and I would never do anything to hamper her and I understand that there's nothing I could ever do to hamper the friendship that you have between you two. Nothing. It's not my place to do that. Thank you. But she's naive. She's 19. Exactly. This is an opportunity to show her the same way you show that kid in the shop, man. But you, can't, but you can't show up from a position of I know and you don't. You tell me, Harold, what would I have said to her if I wanted her to come today? Hard question, isn't it? Maybe the plans you have just isn't the way she does things. Maybe if you listened to her plan, maybe we'd have heard a completely different idea that totally would have worked. She's not dumb. She's, okay. She's obsessed with clothes. <laughs> She will only drink three brands of wine, and only one of those brands she'll drink when she's drunk. But she's not dumb. She, in, when, when things get tough, she'll pull you through. And that's emotionally, if that's in, your, in a bad scrape, if that's in a fight, there's a reason I stuck by her. There's a reason why I would kill Xanathar for her. There's a reason. I know I have no chance I get the big floating holographic eye. But I still tr I don't know what it is. <laughs> I made up a word. The, the, the <laughs> fact of the matter is, as soon as something comes after her, I have to deal with it. And she can deal with it too. It's just we, we'd handle it different ways. She knows more than you think. We have been through a lot before we met you guys. So many casinos. So many fights with bouncers. I don't want to get into it all. It was mostly deserved by us. But the fact of the matter is that it's done now, and now I'm seeing her become something I never thought I'd see. She's fighting combatants that have fought and trained their entire lives. She's had, what, a month? And she's tearing them to shreds. It's not because she's dumb, man. It's because she knows her shit. When the time comes, she makes it happen. And when, I have the, when I'm done with this pep talk with you, I'm going to try the same pep talk with her. And I assure you, it's going to go way worse than this one. Harold, first off, don't have this pep talk with her. I'll consider it. I'm done considering it. I will try. But there's no point in having this talk. Despite what you might think, 
I've been hated by the people I work with most of my life. This is nothing new. It's new for me. I don't mind it. I know how to work with people I dislike, and I am no immediate threat to me. I know. But, man, I really like our dorky name Best Friends Guild. I despise the dorky I, name. Right I know, now. I know you do. But the fact of the matter is, is that it can be true. And when the time comes, and the two of us are hanging off a cliff, I don't want her to leave you. Because she hates you. And she doesn't know better. When you could have taught her how well you two work together. You can work together, and if the two of you could just find one thing you agreed on, I think the two of you could be really good friends, because, and you're gonna hate me for saying this, you two are a lot alike in a lot of ways. Okay, I just said it, don't get too angry, but you two are uh, very much. Name three ways we're alike. Hard-headed. <laughs> hard-headed, hard-headed. Bloodthirsty? She didn't used to be. That changed recently. I gotta talk to her about that. Ooh. And completely unafraid to speak your minds. Okay, when we bring things up, ask her to make a plan. I'd like to hear what she has to say. Okay, but remember, remember, <laughs> I like how y'all made <laughs> eye contact and she's panicking and you're like, that's right, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I understand that she's new. Keep an open mind. I have faith. You're a good person, Harold. Deep down in your core. Yeah, deep down in that metal core I burned. Fuck yeah! Oh, that was awesome, wasn't it? That was really cool. Yes. Anyway, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. You can answer me honestly or not. Are you trying to make this a surrogate family? I think it sort of is. I don't think I had to make anything. I think that lots of families have family members that just don't like each other. But. You know, not every family has somebody who's willing to go in the trenches for both sides to make sure they do. That's me, you know? Six years in that bag. I don't remember the time, but I remember the weight. And I remember th thinking about all of you. Hmm. And six years to come back to it, and, and then it's not quite the way you remember. Things are a little worse off than, they, than you thought. And people liked each other a lot less than you expected when you kind of butter it up in your mind. I just want it to be the way it was in my mind. It's not because I want some kind of family like the one I lost, because the one I lost, wherever they are, they should stay there. You guys are different. You guys have bled with me. You laugh with me. Uh, I see you chuckle, even though you think I don't see you chuckle. I see you chuckle. Don't act like you don't, fucker. The fact <laughs> of the matter is, we we got there. Maybe we're not like a family family. We're more like blood brothers. You know, it's fucking. It's it's like warfare, but but city warfare. I killed a lot more people than I ever have, and I. This is about normal for me, in all honesty. Okay, well that's creepy. But <laughs> the fact is that we got this far together. We're gonna keep going together, and. Any amount of hostility is going to hold us back from the power we can have. The, and I'm not saying like the power, like the physical power, but like the power of friendship, as dorky as that sounds. We are a fucking good team. We could be better. That's all I'm saying. I'm not judging you. I think you're totally right from what you've heard and the things she said that really dislike her, even hate her. But. As a guy who feels I have a lot in common with you, I think there's a lot of things you can find that you like about her. Now, granted, when, when, not if, I have this talk with her and she's gonna be like, oh my God, Harold, why? No. I appreciate you not doing that. But I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna trudge through that because you two really should be more like friends, in my mind. I'm fine with pursuing this option as long as you're okay with being disappointed in the end if things don't go your way. Yeah, I'm pretty used to that. All right. 
Hey, great job tonight. <laughs> I was messing with a wire. <clears throat> um, I think uh, I think we did a damn good job. We got another good ally ahead of us, and we're gonna get through this damn thing. This has to end with both the Zentarm and the Xanthar. Zenithar being crippled. Crippled or pointed in a direction far from us. One or the other. But I, I would like crippled. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, hey, man, I'm all about kicking an eye in the eye. That's stupid. It sounded that's better in my head. That's a stupid <laughs> thing you said. I know. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm... It was about this point that you were in standing in front of the tavern. I think now's a good time for us to head to bed. Go ahead. All right. I'll join you up in a moment. Better fucking sleep as I head Just upstairs. <laughs> Before you sleep. And then as I'm about to turn, I'm like, have a good night. Thank you. And then I'll head up. <laughs> head up. Um, as well, before that, as you're getting ready, um, you position mm. Biblio. Yeah. By the, uh, he was still in the room as a chest. He never <laughs> went back up to the. Okay. But he actually, you explain to him what you want, mm -hmm. and he takes the shape of a hat, a coat rack, right next to the door. You are so smart, baby. You're getting extra food tomorrow. Mm. And then you see, like, the coat open up, and there's like a thousand teeth inside. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, look at that. You have more teeth. <laughs> oh, where's the scary? Where's the scary? Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's a little horrifying noise. Like, <laughs> oh, there's my big baby. Oh, my God. Good, good baby. Are you a boy or a girl? Baby? I know, right? Hmm. Yeah, as much as you ask, no. it doesn't seem to understand the concept. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good biblio. You're a biblio, and that's awesome. Um, so after she gets him all set up, she's going to head upstairs and uh, get into her pajamas, and she's going to pull out the stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's going to sit down. Um, go Gola? Can, can you hear me? questions I wanted to ask you. So dark. What? Can't see. I know. We're, we're working on it. Um, I, I was a little worried though. Are, are you a, a stone that's sentient or are you somebody trapped in the stone? I am the stone of Golo. Okay. So sentient stone. Okay. Got it. Um, do you know how old you are? So dark. Yeah, I know. Uh, can you... Incomplete. Right. Because of your new ability, yeah. you remember the first time it talked to you, it distinctly said that it has vast knowledge. Yes. But cannot but it not see to, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it, it is burdened by this weight of knowledge, but yet right. cannot explain. Um, last question. Can you tell where the eyes are? Can you feel them? Only darkness. Okay. All right. Well, you can go back to sleep then. Good night. And she'll curl up in bed and go to sleep. Okay. Beautiful, blessed sleep. Oh, and she sent the letter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, got we it. got the letter. Oh, Excellent. Um, Finley? Before y'all end the night, mm -hmm. Finley's going to get out of the bath, dry herself off, and grab what I presume there's 400 mirrors in this bathroom. <laughs> She's gonna grab one of the hand mirrors. Wow. Rude. They came with the mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Came with the mirrors. Including the, the wall receipt to out of sight. Yeah, yes. Floor to ceiling okay, one. look, they installed it when they fixed up the place, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna grab one of the hand mirrors and look at herself. And just put it down disappointed. One like, of the many hand mirrors. Yeah, one of the many hand mirrors. And just like, for a brief second, like get really angry and just smash it. And be like, seven years, yo. Um, and then she's going to be like, she's gonna know, and she's going to cast mending on mm -hmm. it, and be like, okay, it looks decent. 
Um, uh, quick note, I am coming to her room after I get done with this. Do I hear her? This was this was all I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not in the bath for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were in the for eight hours. Now I'm all pruny and gross. Um, and then I'm going to put on the mm. underclothes of my outfit, just the the tank, the tight mm -hmm. tank top and the tight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pants, and walk out into V's room. Mm. Hey, uh, was your bath okay? Yeah. It was... <laughs> Relaxing. You sure? Yeah. You seem stressed. More stressed than before the bath. That was my first bath. Oh, oh, oh. oh. How did you clean yourself before? Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. I can do that since birth. That's cool. So, um. I have a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> You're so tough because you've been hit a lot. You could say that? Why, do you ask? Are you gonna ask me to hit you? Yeah. I don't wanna hit you. I don't get hit a lot. I'm really good at moving out of the way. Okay, um. But the stuff in the, in the far realms. Everything that happened just knocked me out every time. And I don't want to just be dead weight. You're not dead weight. I am if I'm dead. But that's fair. Uh, I don't think me hitting you is going to make you stronger. How'd you do it? Well, um, I started training physically at a young age because I got to pick an extra curricular and I wanted to be able to fight. It just kind of was, I was always kind of like a feisty kind of anger problems child and it was like a good way to kind of point all my aggression in something, mm -hmm. you know, and it just felt natural. It felt like this is what I needed to do to get all of that like rage out. I guess you could call it. Um, I don't know. I literally go off instinct. I don't know how anyone else who doesn't feel that way would go about learning to fight and be physically stronger without just training a lot for years. Good to know. I mean, I'm sure, you know, Seisha didn't get strong overnight either. I mean, from what I can tell, she seems that she had also trained since a young age. Just in a different way from me, but, you know. She had three dads. She had three dads. I had a lot of tutors and teachers. Okay. And, um, I don't know, I'm just a very restless kind of person with a lot of energy <laughs> and I just need to put it into something um, but that doesn't mean you're weak like you can do so much cool crap that I don't even know how to like begin doing like I don't know between you and like Seisha and stuff you guys can just like read books and then like know how to do stuff and you know like I grew up reading books and stuff but like I just don't retain knowledge the same way you guys do and like it's really cool and I'm like really jealous of it but like I know that I have strength in different ways yeah. you know what I mean it doesn't mean I'm like stupid I just right. you know so it doesn't mean that you're weak oh no I know like I'm weak <laughs> no I mean like value wise I'm not weak I know that I just don't want. Well, I, I, if I hit you, you're just going to need to be healed. I don't understand how it's going to make you stronger unless you, are, are you asking me to practice fighting with you so you can learn? Sure. Like self-defense? Yeah. Okay. I'm not really good with. I've never taught anyone anything before, but I'm <laughs> sure I can figure it out. I tried to teach someone magic and they were just not getting it. Yeah, I don't think I can learn magic. I think I would just blow everything up. Yeah, Bajra got really mad at me. 
they didn't know how to do this and I make fireworks like it's so simple it, that looks really dangerous <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um... <laughs> so. Okay, you know what, yeah. Uh, why did you hit me? I thought we were trying to fight. That's not, okay. You know what, we're gonna start... <laughs> <laughs> wow. How about the next time we're able to have some downtime, we can start then. Also, never walk up to someone and just punch them. Oh. Also, don't ever punch like that. You leave yourself wide open. <laughs> also, don't punch their arm. That doesn't do anything. Oh, I should punch them here. Yeah. This is, this is where it hurts. It hurts. Yes, it does hurt there. You <laughs> um, got a lot of blood going through there, so if you punch it, it swells for a second, and you're like, <gasps> See, you know things that other people wouldn't know because you know so much about the, you know, human body, anatomy of... I know a lot more about than just humans. No, I know, but like, you know, of all, probably a lot of beings, probably mo all beings, if not most of them. I know a lot about lizard folk. Well, we can talk to Zalazai about that one. Mm. Don't, don't punch him. <laughs> He's on I mean, like when he's not up and yeah, he's not unconscious, and you're able to talk to him about his anatomy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm gonna go to bed now. Yeah. Uh, just I'll. Uh, I'm gonna try to come up with ways on how to teach people fighting okay. and stuff. All right. Okay. And go to bed. And as I walk out, I'm gonna say, "I broke one of your mirrors, but I fixed it." Bye. That's really much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, As everyone drifts to sleep before you guys get back, because by the time you guys get back, everyone's yeah. asleep. Yeah. yeah. You guys were gone bare minimum an hour. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the walk there, the whole thing. Sure. Walk back. Seisha, as you are sleep sleeping, you drift off into a deep dream. Uh oh. You find yourself walking through darkness as a low fog rolls in, clinging to the ground. Eventually, the further you walk, the more the fog overtakes you, bringing light to your vision, although still obscured, first blinded by pitch black, and now by the dense light gray fog so opaque you can't see beyond your reach. In the distance, you hear the familiar cry of a young girl crying out for Voss. The images of a rotting swamp hut flashes in your mind immediately after you see the old green crone curling her lips in a yellow grin at the sound of your deal causing you to fall to the ground. I'm gonna stand up and head over towards where I saw that. Your steps soon echo out against hardwood floors and the fog begins to dissipate as it, co as it coalesces into shelves, books, staircases, and more. You now find yourself in the bowels of a massive library, surrounded by thousands of books and endless hallways. In your hand is the answer she was looking for. Although too hazy to see in this dream, you know exactly what she wants, and it fills you with dread. The deal you made, now more evident in the horrors you unraveled from the pages in your hand. The hag's voice echoes through the chambers in the library. What is it I seek? <laughs> Left with only one choice of honesty and staying true to the end of your deal or deceit and facing the consequences of breaking your oaths, what do you do? Do you speak the truth or do you lie to the hat? to attempt to find a way to answer like Voss would. Half truth. Half truth. Okay. Hmm. Ah. I 
the sense there is more. <laughs> Maybe there is. But you've had the truth. You've had information. That was our deal. But you see, the truth first the deal that we made and an omission that will not do. And that perhaps you should have been more specific when the deal was made. Oh, but you see, the deal was very specific. <laughs> Is that everything that I asked you to get me? No. Okay. Staying truthful, even though trying to find a path between. You are still diligent and unyielding in your litany. The hag steps forward, delighted in your honor of trying to uphold the deal. She pulls from you painfully the truth as it echoes out. And with it, your truth manifests into a physical, tangible words, now taking on the form of a holy longsword. Wielding your glowing blade of truth, you wildly cut down the hag in efforts to keep the truth from evil's hands. But with every strike, you see one of her illusioned vis visages fade. Once the violence is over, laying on the ground at the end of your blade is all of your friends and allies, the last one being Voss, now cornered into a room. He drops his rapiers, unwielding to fight you, and embraces your truth as it stabs him through the heart. His last words pierce your heart as painfully as your blade as you hear him say, It's done. You think back to all the times he told you this would be his end, that you would have to let him go, that his lies and you, that he is lies and you are truth, and in that moment of sorrow, everything fades to mist. And you hear one last voice. It is a soothing voice. It fills you with comfort. You're not sure why, but the sound of this voice is, is someone that you know has always been there beside you and for you. And you hear, it is okay to lie if in the end it will save lives. The truth will live through those that witnessed it. You pause there. What do you guys do when you arrive? Well, I'm going to head upstairs and go to bed. Okay. I head upstairs. I'm going to kind of look at the light because it didn't really stay that late. Um, so she seemed to be awake. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably still be awake because I have okay. to wait extra time to go to sleep so that I wake up with them. Mm -hmm. I think for a second, think about what Harold said. I'm actually gonna head to Sage's room. Okay. Yeah. I'm knocking her door. I don't care if she's awake or not. With that, you are sundered, awake, sweating <laughs> profusely, tears streaming down your face. You hear a rapping at the door. Who is it? Sasha, it's me. I need uh, assistance with something. Just a second. Are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was just having a bad dream. She gets up and comes over and opens the door. Hi. What's wrong? bad dream and I I'm really sorry 
What, what do you need? <sighs> I need you to check me for infection. We were going to the sewers today. Oh, okay. I'll make a medicine check then. I go into your room and I start stripping. Now who's sleeping together? Woo! With all this shipping. Alright. Got a new anchor. I guess I notice a new scar. Yeah, you would. Mm -hmm. Um, It's where you stabbed him. Yeah. (laughs) How much do you take off? I take off everything on my upper body, I leave my gloves on. Are you going to do it with your teeth? Mm-hmm. With your teeth! <laughs> with your teeth! <laughs> no, right. because I didn't come here to fuck Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's yes. what they all say. You take off your, your shirt. Shirt. Down to that. Um, just to see if she sees anything first off. She kind of... Is that? Yes. It's another to the pile. Don't blame yourself too much. Well, that's kind of hard. I mean, I'm the one who stabbed you. The thing stabbed me. You, I told you, you were weak for a moment. The best thing you can do is not let it happen again. We know for a fact we're going to have to face that thing again. Yeah. All right. Um. You were... No other way to put it. You were scared today. I was terrified. <laughs> that was, I think, the most frightened I've ever been in my life. But hey, we all survived, so that's good. Um, I, uh, I'm making decisions now that I know you're going to have problems with to try to help us survive. Oh, you might be surprised. Maybe I will. Harold and I are going to talk to the group tomorrow morning about something we did tonight. What'd you do tonight? We went to see someone. We'll both explain in the morning. But it wasn't something we were going to hide from you. It just had to be done tonight. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay. All right, um, let me, I'll inspect him. Okay, make a medicine check. So high. Natural 20. That's wow. what <laughs> um, You look over and you can see um, where the scrapes and cuts are mm-hmm. that he um, has acquired recently. Yeah. Um, and you notice that there is, it's really hard to tell and you really had to like, to catch it in the right light because mm-hmm. it's blended in through all the other burn scars across his body. Right. But there is a slight discoloration around the wounds. It's septic. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you got a pretty bad infection, boss. Great. I can't... I take out a kukri. Is there a fireplace uh, in here? I don't <laughs> think that's going to... What? Are you going to carve yourself? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's infected. If it's not too deep, you assume you can cut yeah, it out. Yeah, but if you can wait until I've slept, I could just heal it. If I slip, it's going to be six to eight hours that I have it. You know, with that natural 20 roll, yeah. that that is going to do absolutely nothing for what's... It, it's already hit his bloodstream and is already... Boss, it's too late for that. Fantastic. So what does that mean, then? That means that tomorrow morning, the first thing we do is I come and lay hands on you and heal you. Is that enough? It should be. I'll also let you know with your natural 20. Yeah. uh, What he has is uh, referred to commonly as sewer plague. Okay. Um, It usually doesn't start to show signs until about 24 hours after infection. Yeah. You, you've got time, a little bit of time, before you'd start even having symptoms. So tomorrow morning should be fine. What I do, it, it cleanses your, your body thoroughly. 
that's how I was able to stop being drunk and how I've been able to stop when people get sick, like when we were in the swamp. You believe that that will help, and I'll follow your lead. Okay. On a condition. What's that? What were you dreaming tonight? You were disturbed. Yeah, um, I, I dreamt about a hag. Um, and the deal I made, and she was what, called. What was the specifics of this deal? You told us you made a deal, but you never were specific about it. I received a pixel back unharmed in exchange for information. Did she say what? And but she said I would not break my oaths in doing so. And the dream I had tonight, um, I tried to boss her. And, um, Good for you. <laughs> thanks. I, I, tried, I tried to give part of the truth and not the whole truth. And she saw through it. And I, she asked me if that was everything, and I said no. And then everybody, um, everybody was in a room, and they were all dead. Um, pretty sure it was at my hands. And um, you were there. Right. You were still alive. And I, um, I said something, I don't even remember what it was, and, and you responded and said, it's done. And dropped your rapiers and I killed you. I, I ran you through. And why did you do this? I don't know. It was all out there. Everything, the truth was out. And you had accepted it. If your truth could kill me, then I'm really not someone worth standing with, am I? Yes, you are. That's my point. So if I'm someone of worth, your truth shouldn't be able to kill me. Doesn't make sense, does it? I heard something else. What was that? Uh, I don't know how to describe it. There was a voice. It was a good voice. Mm -hmm. And it told me that if it saves lives, I can lie. Do you believe it? It, I do. It, it, I knew that voice and it, I know it speaks truth. I know it does. And what do you think? I think I've lived my entire life one way and I'm quickly finding out that it doesn't work in the real world. Welcome to life. <laughs> it sucks. It does. <laughs> and, um... Here's the thing, Seisha. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about your gods or Ogma, even with the time I spent in the monastery with you. But I know that if you live by your own personal truth, you'll find the right path that way. You have good sense, and you're a good person at heart, and no matter what machinations we may be dealing with you and what machinations happen in the future, stay true to yourself at all things. There'll come a point in time where people will begin to truly rely on you. Not just the group, but others. I, I need help. Of course. That's why we're here. That's Did why you, I came here. I, I need you to teach me. Teach you what? 
how to survive. Because I'm failing in loss. And I'm failing hard. <sighs> Buzz, I don't... I'm going to see someone tomorrow. I'm going to go see Davil. You're going to come with me. Are you sure about that? Do you want to learn how to survive in this world? Yes. What I feel I need to do to survive? I have to do things that I may find distasteful to do so. I need you to be there. And I need you not to step on it. You're going to see things there you're not going to like. You're going to see people that you could see as nothing but evil. But you have to accept the fact in the long term we're going to need them if we want to survive. You may have to push things you want aside for the thing you want in the long run, which is everyone in this group alive. Yeah. That's what I want too. I'm honestly fighting every day for it. Really? I am. You think I like making deals with that blonde fop? So, so wait, wait, are you <laughs> saying that we're all friends? Like, everybody in the group? At least 90% of the people in the group I'm friends with. Okay, well, I know you have issues with me. Um, <laughs> everybody I've, knows I yeah, have no, issues with me, Yeah, no, we've picked up on that. We've, we've picked up on that. Um, I think I it's because you guys are so much alike. Inwardly, Voss is thinking, <laughs> fuck Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone else is thinking that yeah. too, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, how deals are done in Waterdeep is how we get things done in the long term. Sometimes we have to sacrifice the short term things for the long term. Okay. I want you to be there. Keep an eye out for me. Okay. But you see something that you find distasteful or you see someone doing something you dislike, don't automatically act. When you were in the blood pits of Undermount, you immediately went to that person. And I understand why you and Harold did it. That was stupid. I thought about not, it later and I think you're right. It makes us look strange in a place like that. Yeah. I'm normal down there. That's the strange part. And the pleasant past that we're taking... Why did you look so troubled when you saw that guy? Because I knew him. Who is he? I don't know if I've ever told you my profession before you found me. I was a pirate. A... A raider. A pirate pirate, not a sailor, but a pirate. I plundered along the coasts. Oh. And what I took, I sold to him. I was a thief. Got it. A murderer. And he was one of my fences. I hate to disappoint you, boss, but I kind of figured out the pirate thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bright girl. Sometimes. I'm getting better, I hope. Are Come you? with me that day. You won't be the only one. I'm going to bring Benley as well. Okay. <laughs> she's met Davil before, and Davil seems to have a liking to her for some reason, but she's a, got an especially good eye out for things. Very perceptive. Yes, she is. These are the things we're going to have to do and the deals we're going to have to make. You don't have to like all of it and always speak your mind on it. But understand that you can't always get what you want. Okay. That's the lesson I learned since the day I stepped into this godforsaken shithole of a city. <laughs> because nothing has gone the way I've wanted it to. Nothing? This house would be burned to the ground and you and I would be staying in a hotel somewhere. You'd be a part of some gray hand order and I'd probably be gone. Okay, then how'd we be staying together? It wouldn't be. Yeah, I don't like that plan. <laughs> well, that's obviously not the plan we went with, now is it? <laughs> now we own a shithole tavern, we're debt to a fat man, and everyone wants us dead. 
Yay, glory days. It's exciting, though. We're learning things. I led an exciting life. I'm ready to be mundane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to get that option. No. Well, thank you. We'll deal with this as it comes forward. And thank you. And I bring her in for a hug. Aww. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. Thank you for coming to me. If you have any more visions in the future, I suggest you tell Venley as well. Out of all of us, she may know best if they have any kind of meaning. Okay. Good night. Good night. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> You head to bed? Yes. I do. All right. Yes. And with that, everyone can long rest. Yay! Oh my god. It finally <laughs> has been like three weeks. I was so worried and you were going to say, haha, just kidding, you've been attacked. Yep. And as everyone drifts off to sleep, we're going to take a break. We'll see you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow in game. Oh, I'm <laughs> like, what? I was like, wait, what? Oh my god, I got all this stuff back. About 15, 20 minutes, and we'll see you guys. Different. See you guys in a minute. See you guys. And we're back. Woo! What an Sad. exciting first half. Very um, sexually tense first uh, half. Yeah, a lot of that. So what you knew. A lot of ships sailing on, um, or la leaving the harbor, breaking <laughs> people's hearts. But, you know, it is what it is. Some new ones coming Some in. Some new ones coming in. Uh, no, um, the party is, uh, you know, um, trying to Find go to sleep for the night. Oh, they yeah. finally did that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's like it's a couple of hours. yeah, yeah. Um, Voss and Harold struck a deal with the Grauhuns. Um, there was a lot of serious talk. Um, Vinley wants to learn how to fight and survive. Seisha wants to learn how to survive. It's a lot of wanting to survive. Just survive. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it has um, been a fun first ride. And uh, as uh, we move into the morning. Let me pull up my notes. You all awaken the next morning after a <coughs> heavy night of bloodshed. Strange missions and uh, coming face to face with fear deep within Undermountain. Your muscles ache from the stinuous activity and you all have a slight headache from minor dehydration of the intense past few days you've had since the explosion. The smell of caramelized bacon coated with brown sugar permeates the floors from below. As you enter the tavern, you are greeted by all the familiar faces. You start to notice a few familiar patrons as well, starting to build as regulars. Some who stopped by before work on a lunch break or <clears throat> for a reprieve after a long day. Sitting near the hearth is Rainier, talking with Floon Blackmar. At first you believe you are seeing double as it looks like Kara is serving two brothers. Their spirits seem to be up, but you see Rainier's mood change to slight concern as he reads a note addressed to him. Floon finishes his drink, throws a few coins on the table, shakes his friend's hand, and heads out, smiling and nodding in your direction as he leaves. Um, first thing in the morning, I'm just going to go to everyone's <coughs> room real quick and just say, mm -hmm. hey, um, don't mess with the hat rack. What? Why? We got a hat rack? We a hat Wait. Do people put hats here? It's Biblio. Why is Biblio? Because he was guarding the door. <coughs> okay. I can't argue with that. Mm -hmm. We have a guard hat rack, but I'm, I'm putting them back upstairs. But if you ever see a hat rack there, don't mess with it. Um, Got it. So we're not going to purchase a hat rack because... We have a biblio. We have a biblio. Hopefully none of the patrons who come in... No, it's upstairs. Yeah, this is before you guys... This oh, is my bad, my bad. This is in our residence. And, uh, okay, just kidding then. You lead him back up and he yeah. slowly walks up the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, walks. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he walks. Yeah, very slowly. <laughs> yeah. Very slow. Um, but uh, he morphs back into the book pedestal. Book Thank on the pedestal. You baby, I'll bring you some bacon, okay? Yep. Okay. And I will do my thing in the morning. I don't know if. Yes. So, <clears throat> right before that, before all of that, Harold, you awaken, playing with the dagger, dancing it across your fingers, um, and you get this feeling that, just instinctually, that you know. This dagger 
can be whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> and as you start you twirling, it, yeah. yeah, as you start twirling it around, start doing a figure eight first in your hands and then further and further as you glide your hand up the crystalline blade that's uh, curved like a Turkish dagger now turns into a Turkish longsword. As you can spin it around like a dwarf, uh, a uh, dervish dancer. And with that, you look at your new blade still with the curved silver handle and pommel that turns into this long crystalline purple edged uh, curved blade. Dope. I'm going to turn it, point it towards myself, and when I sheath it, it bends yep. to normal. It goes down, and the blade you watch as it diminishes back into a dagger and sheaths itself into its dagger. I just say to myself, that's handy, and I'm going to head downstairs. Yep. Hey you guys, can... guess what? I didn't cook breakfast. <laughs> I can smell. Oh! I mean, um, that's great. <laughs> I mean, um, shit. <laughs> that reminds me, I want to talk to you about something at some point. It's not about cooking, is it? No, it's I'm good. Worse. It's good. It's good. I have an idea. Okay, Okay. so I was thinking about how you can't remember anything, right? Yeah, I think about that a lot. Yeah? I have a plan. What would you think about being put in a zone of truth? No, I mean, um, I'd be on board to think about it. Um, why, why are we put in a zone of truth? Because if I, if I created a zone of truth, and you sat in it, and I asked you to tell me a story about your time in there, you'd be compelled to tell the truth and it might work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. I'll And I figured that um, maybe we can trade stories. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear more stories. Okay, because I need to, I'm, I want to write a book of oh, stories. Okay, yeah. And since you're, you're the bard, I figured, you okay, know. I do have a few. Maybe like once a 10 day? Let, let me tell you about a story involving some red wine at a party. I'll wait. We'll wait till next time. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, now again, you make your way down into the tavern, and you see Floon and Renair talking. Yes. And Renair's uh, visage goes from jovial, talking with his friend, to slightly concerned as Floon passes him a note, finishes his drink, pays the tab, and begins walking out as he leaves. Hi, Floon. How you doing? Uh, a lot better. Good. Um, thanks again. Of course. And I'll be stopping by... More often. This Good. place is nice. Yeah, best bar in town. Uh, best bar in town, as far as I'm concerned. Best bar in the North Ward. Ooh, sounds like we got some competition we need to work through. Yeah. But we we'll need to put you, you on stage more. I mean, right. Guys, the Yawning Portal. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ouch. <clears throat> also, <laughs> also, not really a tavern tavern, so it may not count, but the Jade Jug. What's the Jade Jug? I'll give you a wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about the Jade Jug later. Okay. And uh, I will head over to Rainier. Okay. I'll clap him on the shoulder. Uh, he kind of startles a bit and kind of... Sorry, sorry. Oh, I, no, no, sorry. Are no. you okay? You look a little glum, chum. Yeah. Um, it, it's... it's. I'll get into it later. Um. Um, how are y'all? How did it go? Did... did um, it went. We survived. Um, everybody came back with all their fingers and toes. All right. Um, the that's nibble good. Is um, dealt with. So, how, how was your night? Any success with finding the stone? With Maloon stopping by, we didn't have a chance to really talk. Uh, also, how did that delivery job go? <laughs> delivery job in the tavern. Yeah, yes. you're you're actually um, all sitting around the bay window that's in the tavern. Mm -hmm. Are um, there other people down there? There are, but you guys yeah. are further enough away. You actually okay. have kind of what has been become y'all's table. Oh. It encircles this little alcove, yes. this bay window that sits um, in the main tavern, which is closest to you. Right, yep, right there. You right have there. A, a table that we sits. We have a table there. Yep, okay. And that's kind of the private VIP table, and that's where y'all's table is when y'all sit. It's cool. a big enough space for you all to sit around. Okay. Um, and it's private enough to where you need to have conversations. You yeah. can do so without. We should install curtains. We'll get down there. Uh, yeah. I don't know where the stone is, but I do know we uh, we got the package delivered. 
However, there might have been some complications, um, being that we were in a room full of mind readers. Um, so. Oh, I sent that letter. Good. Uh, as far as I can tell, Xenathar is a. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Xenathar. What do you? Wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah. wait. Let, let's let's slow down and take this one step at a time. You didn't get the stone. That is a shame, and if there's anything I can do to help, let me know on my front. I'll let you know. Okay. As of right now, I think it's best for uh, just to hang tight. Okay, let, let's let's start at the beginning sure. of the night. You went to the Grout Huns to find the stone. You led the Nimble Rites there. Big old fight. Big there's fight. There's a lot of I, people there. Th there were drow, because when yeah. I saw them as I was coming up that night, when everything was coming to a close, and do they, did, do they have the stone? No. I don't know who has they the stone. are, um, they're all dead. Okay, well then that means. But not all of them, some of them got away. Did they? Yeah, the oh. ones with the metal ones. I thought they all got dropped. All like right, The ones well. with the metal ones. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, oh that... when, I, when I say dropped, I mean literally. Remember those like flying nasty <laughs> things that came in your bedroom? <laughs> they were there? Yeah. They were helping us. They never they helped us. us. Yeah, I don't know right, why. So can you see for Do we have any idea where they come from or what they are? I think they come from the far realm. Yeah. What? All right, well, that means that they're being summoned. Can you seek protection from the Harpers for yourself, at the very least? I can, yes. I think that might be a good idea until we figure out where the stone is. Um, we should find out who's summoning them. That would be good really idea. good. How do we go about doing that? It's a, a start. I mean, I, I'll look into things, but honestly, I don't know. Is there anyone in town who would know about the Far <coughs> Realms? It's such a... Or summoning creatures. <coughs> summoning creatures, the Black Staff would probably be the place to talk, but as far as the Far Realm, it's such a... It's I obscure. Mean, it's... No one knows it's much fluid. about it. Honestly, honestly, if there was anywhere on Faerun, it would be Candlekeep. As oh, I could out. Candle Keep. I could research in Candle Keep. We could totally do that. It would be totally fine with me. I'm not as familiar with <coughs> Candle Keep as it's the rest of the biggest library in all of Faerun. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 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 biggest library on Toril. Yeah. Uh, yes. But that gets us amazing. If, there, if <laughs> there's a place to find out information, it would be there. And that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the next question? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Xenathar? So we went to deliver the box. When we arrived, uh, the guy there told Maloon to leave, and we were the ones that were going wait, to Wait, 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 wait. M okay. Wait. L back. Let's go okay. even further than okay, that. So we get Why on the were you? Ship, okay. And the ship has a box on it. Yes. Turns out what was in the box we was gold. Okay. So we get on board the ship, or. Well, specific they, it was. Gold, but we don't know that it was literal gold. Right. Okay. They, they referred to it as gold. We never saw what was in the oh, box. Okay. So we get on the board. When they get on board the ship, Satius keeping the guards busy. And, we went uh, out for drinks. Uh, okay, yeah. That's and so then I... Uh, Call so it specifically a rotten gold. Does that mean anything to you? No, a rotten means gold. It, oh. Both. It said, the, yeah. the name said a rotten gold, and it literally translates to, to golden gold. 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 Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. No, okay, so, so, so how did you end up from the ship to the Xenathar? So we met with Maloon after we got off the ship at okay. the place we specified. Yes. He tells us there's a hitch, now we have to deliver it. And you were delivering it? We found a summoning portal. Using one of those things, I can't remember what they're called, it bamfed me, made me sick, and we get we get there, and he tells us we need to deliver it, and we get there, it turns out we're delivering it to the Xanathar, and the guy there was like, okay, Maloon, leave, we're going to have the new guys bring it in. Wait. It was in the warehouse okay. across the street from the Blue Mermaid. That's the entrance that we took. Maloon went with y'all and was known? He's been undercover in the guild for a while, in the gang for a while. That's strange. The yes. gray are the gray are typically a strike force, not infil infiltration. That's usually what the harps do. But you work side by side at all? Uh, occasionally, uh, the harpers are all over the world. 
the Grey Hand or Waterdeep specifically. Is this activity suspicious to you? It, it's... Maloon's a good man and a great fighter, and I just... Let's just hope he doesn't get found out. Oh. So oh. that's where we're going. Oh, yeah. that, that's important. So we go to make the delivery. Guy tells us, no, Maloon, you leave. We're making the delivery now. So Maloon, in a bit of a panic, heads off okay. and tells us he's going to meet us somewhere. So we go in to deliver this thing, and there's this giant fuck-off eye just glaring at everything around, just floating in the middle of the room. It sort of looked like it was there, and it wasn't. It fries a Kinku, just fries it. I assume it's it, because I just see a laser fly out of the sky and blow the Kinku to pieces, or really disintegrate it. In any case, we get inside with the gold. It makes us lavish it over and over and over again. Wait. We... Praise what, it. What does? The eye. The giant floating, the giant translucent eye. eye. And in with it, are like brain jellyfish with like teeth. But it's not teeth, it's got like a beak. Beaks sometimes have teeth. Trust me, I know about geese. They have tiny teeth. On their tongues. Tiny teeth. They're awful. They're awful. And then after that, there was uh, the- steal the, your stuff all the time. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate geese. And then Illithid. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I thought it was good. Uh, so then- uh, And there was an Illithid there. The one, the same one that we've run into before. Okay. So, so the one that was in the sewers. Sewers. So you wait when was the Xanathar there? I think the it called eye itself was that. The Xanathar. So it's an eye. It's a giant. I think it's an eye projecting its eye somewhere. Can I? Would I make the connection of like this is probably a beholder judging by lasers flying no. around the room around the thing? I will give you the same thing. No Everything that the We've Xanathar that Guild yeah. portrays, In the play. tattoos, Everything the symbolism, the everything, it is pushing forward the image of a beholder. That is easy enough to connect. Okay. okay? So, Beholders are iconic, right? right? But is it is it a beholder or is or it, is it a literally facsimile to make it look like one guy? Is it a Wizard of Oz moment? Right, okay. So I will explain that. I'll be like, I acts like a beholder, looks sort of like a beholder's eye, but you know that could be the bit. In but any case, we are there, and it starts. Maybe it's this brain thing, the tentacle beak thing. I've yeah. never heard of anything like that before. Or have I? I've seen them. Uh, you can make Arcana. Arcana. Actually, I'm not going to make, make this roll. Yeah. Harold would have no reason to know what this is. We'll do it. Yep. Yeah, I'll let you two. Seventeen. Roll. Okay, come on. I, that was going to be the big piece. But uh, you've heard of these creatures. You don't know much about them. They mm -hmm. are from the far realm. They're called Grell. It's it's a creature from the far realm. It's it's called a Grell. Oh, far realm shit. Yeah. 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 We've had some issues. <clears throat> yeah. That's rough times. Um, so anyway, we give it the gold. It tells us if we give it the stone, it'll take care of the rose. It'll just take it out because the rose is apparently a... Uh, uh, a mole. The problem is, when it asked if we knew there was a mole, uh, Seisha was thinking about Maloon. And you were afraid the illithid was reading your mind. The illithid read my mind on the way out, but I was aware it was doing it. So it. Or it dealt deep on yours. Cold, undying hatred for it? But not for Xanathar, just it. I mean, maybe a little bit of Xanathar. What did. What did he want? Let me guess. He asked for the stone, didn't he? Yeah, he wants the stone. If he gives us, if we yeah. give him the stone, he'll take care of the rose. But obviously, yeah. that's not gonna fucking work. Right. But he also has complete? one of the eyes of the stone. Eyes. He wants it with two of the eyes. The, the, he has uh, the, the stone apparently has slots that eyes go in. Okay. And it has one of the eyes, and it believes that Zentarum has the other one. Uh, all right. So now there is multiple pieces of the stone. Sounds like. Joy. I know, right? Seisha, I will remind you, because you already put it together, it is past your month, mm -hmm. but through your notes, you know, because you've looked over yeah. while looking for the stone, uh, the black pearl yep. that was pulled from his yep. mother's locket. Yep. Um, you had one for a little while. I did? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, was that what was in my mother's locket? Yeah. Makes a lot that more sense. Makes sense. That makes perfect sense, which is why I was taken, because they believed that I had the stone, but in fact I had a piece of the stone. Right. 
probably the same thing goes for uh, Jojo Komet. That... You're right. So the Xanathar, that's the one that the Xanathar have. Is my, it's the stone that was in my locket. It's gonna make it very difficult. These are two of the, I, I think these are the two biggest gangs in Waterdeep. They had, uh, yes, you so would be correct. we're in a tough situation uh, because we can't exactly just cut our way through. Uh, they're, they're, they're the two biggest gangs in Toral, not just Great. Waterdeep. Like, so. <laughs> well, the Zantarum, the Xanathar are more focused in Waterdeep. But the Zantarum, the Black Network runs Where Toral. are they weak? Like, what, what attributes do they lack in? I mean... It probably varies from place to place. Places like this right, have Right, but weeks. here, specifically. Something we have. I don't. But they don't know we do. We know, potentially, how to get there. And That's we know good. that either side... We have a... If Maloon has infiltrated, then we have an in. Let's just hope that Is you didn't blow that cover. It it has to be focused on a specific person to be to read its thoughts. It doesn't just hear every thought around it. That's Otherwise, it would. It, but it can 100% easily focus on someone and read their surface thoughts without even you even knowing that How it's doing so. Information network go. Harpers go across the entire world. Could you? Hypothetically, create a convincing enough of a ruse that the Xanathar believe the Zentarum have the stone. Enough so that one might want to raid the other. Yeah. We know an entrance into the Xanathar. If we can convince the Zentarum that the Xanathar have the stone. Yeah, this is actually how all this kind of started. This is the whole reason we are where we are. Agreed, but if we can get them to start <laughs> fighting each other in one way. Oh. If we can get one of them to empty out one of their dens, we can retrieve the eye from one while numbers are low. This whole gang war has been going on. They've been doing that as is, but, but we, we can, if we can put them at one location. Yes. Sensha, I'll remind you, even through your frightened state because of your keen mind, you mm -hmm. remember the Xanathar yelling about the stone mm -hmm. being stolen from him, and he blames the Zentarum. So. Everything that Voss is saying is literally how all of this started. He, Xanathar, thinks that they stole the stone from him already. He, he had it. So we need to make him think that the stone is somewhere. Like, that, like either they guarantee the stone will be in this specific right. place, and we case that place, we make that place just solid for us. We give ourselves every advantage, and then every disadvantage, and we get as many as we can in one place. And then, well, I, I don't really know after that, but that does make sense for the start. Still leaves the thought of the vault as to where that location might be. I don't know if that will be revealed in time or not. Everything points to the stone. So maybe once it's complete, something uh, else. It'll be the next step. I don't know. We have those. Maybe two. it's the key. We, I, there's no way to know. The third eye is still elusive to us. I'll see what I can. I'll see what I can do to start pushing in that. Now that we know what we're looking for, that it is a black pearl, and we know the size, we know what to mm -hmm. find. It's going to be a needle in a very large haystack, but... The key thing right now is you need to be keeping your eye out for those drow. They're not going to be happy at the fact no, that No, I'm still, I still owe him, I still owe Commodore Zold what? a favor. And what news did you get? When we came downstairs, she looked upset about something. Well, I could actually use your help with that. And where did it help? We're kind of at a standstill on the stone right now anyway, and he kind of looks around. It's a more private area, perhaps? Normally, I would just talk to the two of you who are members, but I feel like I can trust all of you with this, and I feel like you're going to tell them anyway. Yeah, probably yeah. that's a good idea. I got a letter from... from Maloon. Matrim has allied himself with a group of doppelgangers. Oh. oh! The guard, Captain! 
I totally forgot to mention that. What? The the captain of was it the North Ward? Nope. It is the Castle Ward. The Castle Ward, the cap the guard captain of the Castle Ward. Um apparently he's been acting weird. What Your key mind kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys returned back from the swamp, there was a newspaper being read at right. the cart place. Yes. And on there, it said that doppelgangers were being hunted down. Yeah. And then it said, the captain said, nope, all been dealt with. No problem. He stopped the doppelganger hunt. Oh, he's a doppelganger. Okay. The captain, uh, of, the castle, the captain of the city watch in the, the castle ward is a doppelganger. Okay. Doppelgangers aren't inherently bad. Do you, we don't Do you have know proof of this? any of this for or sure Or is it just hearsay? It's, it's... <laughs> it's uh, uh, I, uh, how circumstantial, about, but strong circumstantial. Okay, well, how about this? Atrium apparently, Matt has been speaking to some of them. Maybe they know about this. And believe Matt believes that they could be huge allies to That's Harper. That's what I was going to say. It's exactly what we need right now is some people. I don't can... disagree with the idea of having a shape changer as an ally, yeah, but they right. are often hard to trust. If they are harmless and trustworthy, then we would like to speak with them. If they are not, if not, if they are not, they could threaten the balance of the city. If that makes sense. The sound of multiple plates crashing to the floor echo out through the tavern, deafened by the silence that follows. Soon, the awkward silence is broken by the shrill whine of Aura Why? crying out. Through the swinging fence, uh, French doors that lead into the kitchen, you can see Javier breathing heavily as Kara swiftly approaches him. Finley, you see him looking in your table's direction before quickly jerking his head away to break eye contact. I, uh, Rainier continues, uh, I know you are all great judge of character and see the best in others as well as the worst. What are what they're hiding, what they can bring to the city. I would ask if you could do this small task if you find yourself near the awning portals today. Uh, Matt says a group of them have been frequenting the portal, but we don't have intel on who it is, so be careful. But the Harpers can pay you each 50 dragons if for compensation of your time, um, and I will continue the search for the stone and this third eye. Um, do this, and you'll both Harp shadows. Out of play, that means you move up in the ranks and the Harpers with the title of Harp Shadow. Ooh. I like that. So we Harp Shadows now? By the now? way, we each got 80 gold from the 400 we got from the job, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Oh, I haven't moved to the other bedroom. Did I add? Say, I Wait, we got how much? Okay. I, I'm sitting here at 170, so I'm pretty sure I added it in. Well, I okay. put 40, but I did not put the other 40. Yep. I, I think I only put in 40. Yeah, probably. I haven't put in anything. So I'm going to put in another yep. 40. It was the money that Maloon gave you, the 200 that he promised, and the yeah, 200 yeah. that was negotiated. Yeah. I could see him oh, looking at me. Anymore. If you like, put the other quarter of his So eye, that means like, you put 40. Yeah. So yeah. put another 40. <laughs> and I get to go buy more useless stuff. Yay! Yay. <laughs> okay. So. Certainly, this seems like it would be a grand asset to you. Are you asking us to recruit them into the Harper faction? That's your job. Yeah, I got it. And what I do is make friends with everybody. Matt, go talk to Matt. He should know more. Got it. Hey, how you been? I'm going to go check the <laughs> kitchen. I'm do you go guys want to come with uh, me? Is there anything else we need to talk about? No, that's it. Okay. okay, let's go check the We're kitchen, go guys. Check the kitchen. Um, you Why? guys just hang, boss, come to the kitchen. We're gonna go check the kitchen. Why? To the kitchen, boss, because something happened oh. and we need to check on it as the owners of the establishment. Drop some. Would you mind uh, if giving V and I a moment? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure. He's so smart. You're so clueless <laughs> sometimes. And so she stands up and goes to the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Are walking over there? Okay. Uh, we're going to do this interaction before you guys decide. Oh, hold on. Um, as you race back to the kitchen, you run into Karen on her way back towards the table. She goes, oh, my apologies, your food. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer. No, it's fine. Seems that Javier had some sort of respiratory attack while handling your dishes. He's ashamed and asks for your forgiveness. I'm already walking back there. 
we okay, we'll time. get to Thank that in a second. Yep. How are the kids? They're good. Mm. Okay. Um, busy. Yeah, we, at some point we need to sit down and talk. Yes, like we agreed. Yes. Okay. Great. I'm working. Yes. <laughs> and I'll head to the kitchen. Yep. Do you leave? I have no reason to stay. Okay, I just, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there scribbling. Yeah, y'all get it out of the way. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Don't mind me. Um, I do tap her on the shoulder. I'm like, uh, infection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's go over here. Okay. I'll take him to the pantry to bamf him. Okay. Um, I hold up that, <laughs> I hold up that uh, part of my shroom, just like press it right there. I wanted to see if it goes away or not. Okay. Got you it. expose your scar? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Charged. Nice. Letting it automatically do that when you do the wrong eye. I have to roll it. Cast melee on hands for five. To yep. Cure disease. Um, you, although you didn't feel sick mm. or anything, you actually do feel better. As you realize that it was so gradual that your pain, your suffering, your mm. illness was just something that you took on as normalcy. But now you feel cured and clean, and as you pull your hand away, the scar is still there. That's not going to go away. I'm sorry. Don't be. <laughs> you already apologized <laughs> once. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. Back to V. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Miss Gathala, mm -hmm. I believe that it is high time that I took you out on a proper date. That We're, is, okay. if you have time and the desire to grant this humble request. As he bows. Can we make perception rolls to listen in? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, you don't have to be so uh, formal, if that's okay. But uh, do you mean like right now? No, 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 and I understand. I, I am going to listen in. Okay. I think there may be critical information that he's sharing with her. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Okay, um, yeah, bad. I mean. 13. I just don't know when I'm available right now because well, of the whole about, stone situation. How about plans for Joybringer's Night? Sure, uh, sorry, out of play. When, do I know when that is? Yes, you would as uh, okay. someone that has lived their entire life. In Waterdeep. <laughs> yes. Joybringer's uh, Night is a night dedicated to Lyra. Okay. And, no, um, Lyra, not Lyra. Correct, Lyra. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just make it sure. Lyra, the joy bringer, where people there is um, a festivities from dawn till dusk, and you know that all weapons, even ceremonial ones, are c forbidden, and anybody caught with weapons that night is jailed for the night and fined for disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace. Oh, good. That, we just have to plant weapons on all of the gang members. <laughs> <laughs> and push them in the street. Yeah. Campaign stall. <laughs> that's, that's what the gang members um, are thinking. You oh, also can't have weapons today. That, uh, today's either the fourth or the fifth. I'll have to look. It's, but a, it's a couple days away. A couple days like away? Two, two, days two away. or three days away. Um, yeah, do you think that's a safe decision? Not that I don't want to. If we live I our just, life in fear. What's the point of living? <gasps> that was a whip on a horse well, right there. Well, you know, the last time I went out without weapons, I ended up kicking the shit out of three dudes. So I think I'll be okay. Can I bring pocket sand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but sure. It's sand you keep in your pocket, and then uh, if, fair, if can... someone like assaults you, you just throw it at their face. And it, like... That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's a um, good distraction. <laughs> It is. It is. Insight. Is he legitimately excited about pocket sand? Uh, make an insight check. Who would be the us? answer to that question? Uh, 18. He's legitimately excited about pocket Jesus sand. Jesus Yeah, Christ. you honestly, you should start carrying some just in case it's like a self-defense thing. You have it thrown you know? their eyes. It leaves their open. You can immediately go for the throat. Yeah, yes. Take them down after yep. that. That's yep. Or run away. Or, or run away. <laughs> or run away, depending on what, you know, your... Pocket sand. So they're, simple. They're just... <laughs> They're discussing advanced combat tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a euphemism? No. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, well, 
You know what? Yeah, I, you're right. I I would love to go to the. Is it called the Joy Bringers Night? Oh, the Joy Bringers Night is just it's a Joy Bringers it's a, Night. Yeah. yeah. Well, the fair is still in town, and although it's run by Commodore Zod or Zord, uh, uh, I would still like to see what all the fuss is about. And I and I hear that they have something special planned for the Night of Joy. I also, with your strength and beauty, I'm sure you could disarm anyone who could try and stop our night of revelry. Uh, thanks. For I assure you, they have already disarmed me. Uh, thanks. I can thank you. Uh, mm. So what do you say? Sure. Splendid. I look forward to it. Just no weapons are banned entirely during the festival hours. Right, which is why pocket sand. Which is why pocket sand. So, <laughs> but if you don't mind, I have to get back to the tavern and... If, um, ask the rest of your group what the Spirits of Troskull is doing in honor of Our Lady of Joy's Wondrous Night. Okay. Putting Harold on stage. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'll see you then. And then he goes back to basically being your manager. Like, yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is like the best unpaid staff yeah. <laughs> He's the coach. He's the coach of the team. In food and drinks. Oh, wait, we're paying him? Yeah. When did we agree to pay Rainier? <laughs> when he started being the coach. <laughs> is Sasha mad that we're paying Rainier? I think, I think this is more than Katie's I don't mad. recall us agreeing to pay him. You I don't, but there might be someone that is no longer working currently. That he may be, uh, yeah. Waka waka. I didn't want to pay that guy full Dis price. He got <laughs> discussing mad. payment when that returns, if they return, can be discussed later. But right now, he's getting Salazar's salary. Salazar. God bless. So Salazar. you guys make your way rushing into the kitchen, pausing for a little bit, listening. Uh, to what conversations are having. So he's just like cleaning the boss's shoulder and just watching his facial reaction. That's a private I, moment, not I, for me. Yeah, I it, see. No, I'm in the kitchen. As soon as I get excited about Pakistan, I stop listening. Okay. <laughs> it's clearly not going anywhere. Um, and then uh, you see Javier just kind of seeing, like your insight instantly picks up that he seems frazzled, kind of nervous, uh, but uh, looks to be trying to... Uh, Sway that away with um, cooking. He got upset after the discussion of the doppelganger started, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Javier. I'm, I'm with them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, everybody but V. Got and it. these two, because y'all are focused yeah. on this conversation. Yeah. yeah. So right. only Harold and Vinley are in got it. How's the best chef on the planet? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I just have random respiratory attacks from time to time. That's, that sucks, man. Are you okay? Is everything all right? It looked yeah. like you saw a ghost. No pun <laughs> Forgive me, it was something that I should have uh, confided when I applied. Uh, do not worry, I'll pay for the replacement dish rack. Can I roll an inside check? You can. See if yeah, you I also. Go ahead. And now, and now <clears throat> every person I meet is a doppelganger for the rest of the campaign. Uh, eight. <laughs> 30, 20. 30, 20? I mean, he's telling the truth. Okay. Um, if it is permissible, I would like to ask for the rest of the day off. Of course. I'm not means. feeling well, Maya. Well, yeah. You know I'm a doctor, right? Uh, if you would want to check, that's fine. I'm going to check you out. Okay. Um, and as you start walking, uh, Aura is more capable of handling herself. Just let the guests know that uh, there will be a slightly longer delay on their orders. Yeah, absolutely. I will, uh, I'll go do that now. Uh, you want to check them out while yeah, you Yeah, I'll there? check them out. Okay. And I'll Let's not do it where the food is I'll made. just stick around in case he needs his illness. If he's got one, taken care of. Um, okay. We can take the door outside. Mm -hmm. So, you guys. Feel better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, or, uh, I hope this does not put you in the uh, predicament. I'm fine. Okay. I could take over for you while you're doing that. Uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's probably uh, and, and he looks to you, Harold, is that conversation, have you not had it? 
I had a rough day yesterday. No, it's crazy. It's breathing weird. Okay, uh, then we'll <laughs> step outside. <laughs> I need to make a roll to remember because okay, he yeah. doesn't remember. What uh, it? And it is uh, anytime you're trying to remember information, yes. unless you have key minus and, disadvantage. Yep. Disadvantage. Yep. Waka. Uh, did hey, you say right. Waka. I did. He did. Like Waka Waka, not Waka Flocka. Waka Alpha. No, I just think Waka Waka Waka. Yeah, that, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you remember that uh, he <laughs> approached you and was like, "Okay, so some people aren't born." to do certain things. Uh, she's one of them. She's made strides, but not in my kitchen. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> and he was like, he was like, you can talk to her, right? You can lessen this well, blow. And you're like, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> oh shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I turn, I'm like, we'll discuss it once important things Close are taken store. care of. <laughs> okay, you're outside in the street. And then I'll make a medicine roll. Yeah, like okay. later, we'll yeah, yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby. Mm-hmm. 21. Uh, you listening in, putting your ear up to <laughs> his chest. Um, and real fast, I know what a doppelganger is, right? To make an arcana check. I know at least they're shape changers from yes. how people have talked. Oh, there's where the luck runs out. 11. 11. You know they're shape changers. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to, as I'm listening to him and like checking him over, I'm going to listen for anomalies in a human anatomy. Okay, okay. yeah. Uh, and as you hear that, you hear listening in with your ear against his uh, chest you hear a rasp in his uh, in his lungs as he breathes and you tell him to take big breaths and you hear it and there's like a small like and what is this one happening Javier? As, as long as I can remember have you seen anyone about this? it's a small complication Not being able to breathe. I breathe fine. It just causes complications from time to time, as you saw. Okay. Well, if anything scares you again, that causes you breathing complications, just let me know. If you ever want to know what's going on, just ask. Okay. I'm very perceptive, Javier. Just good to know. Thank you. There you go. Tomorrow. What are you guys doing? I am out Do I need to in the I am out in the tavern, okay. and I am specifically okay. going from like I'm not putting it on the workers. I'm going to as the, as one of the owners go by, be like, "Hey, your order might be a little bit slower." Okay. You know, blah blah blah. Um, persuasion, maybe. Yeah, go ahead with persuasion. So, was I think we need to have a family meeting. Twenty three. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's Why? like, oh, okay. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, yeah. cool. Because mm-hmm. I think we need to all have a talk. Family meeting time. About what? Everything that's going on. Oh, Is this okay. a tavern family meeting or a common room? Common room family meeting. Probably okay. a common room family meeting. I head up there. I also head up there. Can I good go luck. up? Uh, no. No, I say good luck oh. to um, Javier and... To yeah. Aura? Javier. Yeah, Aura. Thanks. Mm. I have the passage. <laughs> <laughs> Harold slowly shuts it. <laughs> and knocks something off the counter. <laughs> He'll pay for it. <laughs> Billy has the fleeting thought that she doesn't like animal cats. And then just like bags out and is like, good luck. <laughs> when everybody gets upstairs. Okay, so we need to touch base on a couple things. Okay. And um, one of the things that I think we need to talk about is where everybody's at, because I don't know what's going on with yeah. all of you. Yeah, are y'all sleeping together? No. We no, they said, said no, we had that. Yeah. We talked about that yesterday. Apparently they're not. No, we never, ha- never had them. Okay, okay, you can also be there. No, I don't. I just think it's weird that everybody was thinking this the whole time and never brought it up to you. Uh, you guys wander off alone a lot. Well, I didn't think about it the whole time. Seisha kind of helped put the thought in my mind. I I'm observant. You. Sometimes. No, I'm not offended. I just, I would have told you. Okay. Look, the, the first person I sleep with, you'll be the first to know. Anywho. You've never 
sleep with someone? No, no he lots of slept people. Are you with kidding people. Me? Well, why don't you say the first person I sleep with? I'll since, let you know. S- since we all got together, I haven't slept with anyone since. We- why are we so having this discussion? That's the kind yeah. of thing we should know about each other. Personal details of what's going on in our lives. Well, Harold and I went to Lord Growlhoon's house last night to start an alliance with him. What? There we go. We're <laughs> there starting we go. our family We're meeting. We're starting Thank our family you. meeting. What? You what? You, wait. I would you rather start? have this conversation than the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. You started an alliance with someone without discussing it with everybody? We didn't start an alliance. We, we saw what was necessary to be able to start one. But you did this without talking to everybody else? Well, you told us you were going to go to bed. Well, yeah. we, we had a conversation. We realized that we had a good opportunity to make another friend. Mm-hmm. And we told you guys that we would talk to you tomorrow morning. Or at least I told you to tell them that. Did mm-hmm. you tell them that? Yes. Okay, and then, yeah. I told you that <laughs> last night. Yeah, but you didn't. Tell me that, uh, when did you do this? Because you told us you were going to bed. We went to get a drink. After we got the drink, we left. It was a spur of the moment kind of decision. Insight check. And side. Yeah, you went <laughs> My deception roll. God, That's not. Right. Oh, good 17. Job. Did the bar Ooh, just yeah. look nice on an insight check? I did. <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 17. Ooh. 15. There's a lot of numbers being thrown around. Voss seems shady. Shock. But <laughs> shocking, totally literally nobody. But with Harold's words behind it, it makes it muddy. And it's hard to tell if it truly was. It may have been a decision. I'll give you this. It may have been a decision that was rattling around in Voss's brain, and he was the one that brought it up that made it spur of the moment. But with with Harold's words, it seems like it was spur of the moment. Maybe it was spur of the moment to Harold. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> I love the anywho. Nothing is definite. Growlhoon could be a powerful ally. What did you promise him? We didn't promise, promise him, him nothing. anything. What did you offer him? We didn't, we didn't offer, offer him, him anything. anything. Then why would he forge an alliance with us? Because, because there he, are things he wants. And we are p- and possibly capable of doing them, which is why we're discussing it. And you led right. him to believe that you might do those things. What does he no, want? We probably will do Probably what things. everyone else wants. He probably wants the stone. No. No. He wants the body of his wife. He said he could bring her back. Just give him the mm. stone. After I woke him up. Yep, so... There we go. But that's not what he wants from us yet. He wants the body. The body's getting dropped yes. off. What Wait, everyone? Well, of course he's going to want the stone. Everyone we know he wants the stone. But Wait. Javier probably wants the stone. Wait. <laughs> he's weird. Stop I like for Javier. one second. Where is his wife's body? His wife's body is in uh, Castle, Castle uh, Waterdeep. Deep. But they're transferring it to a mausoleum. We mm-hmm. need to go get it out of the mausoleum and bring it back to him. Okay, so we're literally grave robbing a corpse. Yeah, but it's his corpse. Okay. I mean, do you own a corpse? I'm, Just because you're I'm, married uh, to it? I've had a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my god! Put that on my tombstone. <laughs> Stacia. Yeah. He wants he wants to attempt to revive his wife. If the city is allowed to do with the body as they please, he will lose his chance. Children will lose a mother, husband will lose a wife. It's shady, I admit. No, it's not that it's shady, it's just I'm weird. not comfortable. Creepy. With it. Yeah, it's weird. It is. But the dude is experiencing loss, and everybody experiences in different ways. You know, when when my dog died, I was very, very sad, and I ate a whole bunch of pie. When his wife died, he he stole her body. It's weird. Are we People handle it different ways. Hold on. But we're just not gonna address the fact that they have an undead groundskeeper. And yeah, that obviously that's, messy. That's he walked us out. Oh, good. He was very good. polite. Very nice. At least he's trapped. That's fine. Um, so he's actually, messing with things. Look, so we we can't. Not every one of our allies is going to be squeaky clean. I'm about to go no, rub elbows with doppelgangers. No, I get it. I get it. It's just. I'm more frustrated by the fact that you guys did this without talking to any of us because you knew we were awake. I did not know you were awake. I also did not. We talked to you on the street. Of course. But then you went right back upstairs. We went and got a drink, then we left. All right, that's fair. Look, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, even though Grauhan did what he did, and even though I really hate his guts, we don't have the kind of money he has, we don't have the kind of connections he has, and let's be honest, we don't have the moral flexibility he does. Some things he can do on the side that we're not privy to will probably help us. We need some kind of backing that isn't 
squeaky clean. We need somebody who will do some dirty stuff. And if all he wants is his wife's body back, maybe we can find some other way to bring her back. We don't have to rely on the stone. All he wants is her. At the end of the day, that's all he wants. Now, when she's back, she'll probably want the stone, but fuck it. I'm just saying, let's think about this from the perspective of a grieving husband, not a former enemy. I'm not bothered by that. You're bothered by the fact we didn't bring it up here. I'm, yeah. I'm bothered by the fact that you guys went and opened the door of giving our word without consulting us first. We didn't. We didn't. That's you why opened we're having... the door of doing it without talking to us. Right, but now we're talking to you because the door's open and we're trying to make a decision if we shut it or not. This is not a definite thing. We didn't leave there with promises and hands shaken or anything like that. But I don't want you guys to get in the habit of doing that because that's not right for the rest of us. That's totally fair. I completely agree with that. <sighs> What's up? I mean... We can't really be that mad at them. It's not like their dog's on a leash. No, but if they're going to go out and make an agreement on behalf of all of us, then they need to consult us first. We need to know what they're planning to do if they're going to involve all of our names. As, well, well, your names were never mentioned. As far as that goes, we never even said names. It sounds no. like they just introduced the idea of an alliance without actually promising anything. More or less, that's Which exactly what happened. Yes. I think is nothing. To and be I made it clear to him. Out about. I made it clear to him in no uncertain terms that if he was planning on screwing us in any way, or coming back at us, or making this something that we regret, we'd make him regret it. And I did not mean that we were going to kill him. I mean we can turn him into the cops at any time, which is the next step of this whole thing. Those two damn investigators, awesome yes. though they are, are um, totally, Blessman and Crumley. Right, they are tearing into this guy and they're learning everything they can, which means we don't have a whole lot of time to make this happen. I need to go we talk to them. It. We don't need to talk to them anytime soon until this growl hunt shit's taken care of. I will say this. The investigators talked to him. They never knocked on your door. That's true. So, we need to look at this from the perspective of, we we also, I don't think we owe this guy, but we did toss him out a window. You what? Well, we didn't toss him. He, he jumped, jumped willingly. He jumped. He jumped. He jumped. Don't talk your shit away in three seconds. Should have counted to three. He jumped, and I wasn't ready. Yeah. And uh, so his, his knees all screwed up. I fixed him. His kids are okay. I put it back in place. But he did I, double The kids game. went out the window? Yeah. yeah. I was okay. carrying them. Yeah, I, I got them. She had to make a choice. She made the right one. His knee yeah. going to be fine. A little bit of a cane makes him look more regal. It's really good stuff. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I jumped out the window with one of the kids. Uh -huh. I caught the other one. And then, and like, then he I caught thought... the ground. He caught it hard. I would say the ground caught him. Uh, no. Well, I thought he caught it. Finley was going to be able to do feather fall because I don't realize how much time it takes to do magic. Yeah, we always used to, like... Whenever we would like talk about magic, we'd be like, pew, 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 pew. We, I, I, that's probably my fault. Probably she thought it, it could cast it that fast. That's, that's on me. Pew, fireworks. Like that's, that, that seems really that dangerous. That sounds so <laughs> dangerous, right? Yeah, it's I'm dangerous. scared like my hair is going to catch on fire. It's okay. Okay. I won't um, let it. <laughs> so Thanks. we're entering yeah. potentially into an agreement with Growlhun to get his wife's body back so yep. he yes. can bring her back to life. It's creepy. And what? Is he giving us an exchange? Essentially, he's going to give us the potential to be able to strike back at the Xanathar and the Zentarum through Davil and the Doom Raiders. He's got money, not a lot of it left, but he's got way more than we do. And he really, really wants revenge. And that's what we're playing off of. I'm going to bring this up when I see him today. You'll be there, as I said before. Yeah. This is a connection that they could use. And the fact of the matter is, this is an underground war. And we need a faction in the underground war. I, I, I'm sorry. Are you? Did you? Did I hear you right? Are you bringing? I am. Okay. Okay. That's I know. Part of the discussion thing. <laughs> family meeting. I'm, this yeah. has been a really good family meeting so far. Also. Yeah. Also. yeah. <laughs> uh, Javier, what's the deal there? Uh, so a doppelganger. What? Come really? on, he's the chef! He freaked out when we started talking about doppelgangers. He has a chest condition! We don't... Before we begin accusing everyone we know of being a doppelganger, You're if they even go close to being a... That sounds exactly what a doppelganger would say! Oh my god, maybe I'm a doppelganger! Okay, no one here is a doppelganger. Are you a doppelganger? 
No. Are you? No, he's not because I details. Wish. If I was, I would. Do totally... doppelgangers always know their doppelgangers? I heard stories that they can get lost in character for years and years. Hey, you know what we can do to find out more about doppelgangers? We can talk to the guy at the bar. That's a good point. Who's a doppelganger? Uh, Well, I just... We have a lead to potential allies that could be yeah. very, very useful for us in the future. Rather than accusing each other blindly, let's pursue that. I hope right, I'm a doppelganger. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will say Javier was watching us. You think so? Mm -hmm. I saw, I caught it out of the corner of my eyes. Kid, do they have like super crazy ears that they can like... <laughs> do you think he turned his ear into like a dish? And he like sucked in all the sound? Does Javier seem duplicitous? Not that I could see. If he is he a, a wheezy lung. If he is a doppelganger, he means it's but no harm. Why didn't you tell me to least. heal him if he has a wheezy lung? Well, if he's a doppelganger, it's fine. This I will say what this. What do the doppelgangers want? I, I. How much do I my character know? Can I roll? Because Ethan knows a shitload. <laughs> it's his favorite monster. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Stunning, really. I think uh, Ethan's a doppelganger. <laughs> mimics, mimics are where it's at. Okay, uh, what do I need to roll to know? Uh, did did you signs. did you already roll? Who rolled the eleven? Uh, I, I did not. I don't think I rolled about what a doppelganger is. You can go ahead and make a roll. Okay, what am I rolling? Arcana. Can yeah. doppelgangers like turn into animals and stuff, uh, or only people? And nope. Uno, oh, yeah. which t adds up to a total of dose. Dose. <laughs> are you a doppelganger? I could be. <laughs> Hey. I don't know what they are, but the idea of changing shapes, super cool. And if I turn out to be one, please don't kill me because that'll be super cool. It actually is really fun. Okay, cool. you know, I actually used to know that You spell. know who would probably know if you're a doppelganger or not? Other doppelgangers. So let's, let's go, go talk, talk to, to the guy stuff. who knows yeah. about doppelgangers. <laughs> so then are you guys going to go talk to Three Streams while yes. we yes. go do the dabble thing? I actually don't see like, a reason why we can't all go right, right now. If there needs okay. to be a point where we need to split up, yes. Okay. But meeting with Davil is very time consuming. Oh. But it also mm -hmm. is very time important. Remember, he wanted us to do it last night. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should split up. Hey, Let's or we could game. go or we could go talk to Davil first and then the doppelgangers. What are you gonna do? Stand outside? I can't bring Harpers in to see Davil. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and frankly, I don't wanna I'll remind you last time the yeah, reason we why it takes chase. so long. Yeah. Yeah. And you know where they're going mm -hmm. is a start to finding out where Davil is because there's typically one person that's always there. Yep. So Let's travel together and leave this godforsaken family meeting with none of us being doppelgangers. But we don't know anything about what's been going on with each other. My favorite okay, well, let's, let's hear real quick. All right, okay. well, let's get on to you, Seisha. Okay, um, all these dark things are happening and I don't know why. Um, my form has changed, and I don't know why. That's yes. A, that's a, that's yep. a weird one. Yep. Right? Had a horrifying nightmare last night oh, where I killed new. all of you. Oh, that's really And, bad. um, learned that I am, I think, I learned something in my dream told me that I can lie if it'll save lives. So, yes. I got that going for Ooh. me. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Um, that's with nice. that. Yeah. And, um, oh, there was another thing. Okay, you go while I try to remember. Um, six years in a bag. Um, uh, Might be a doppelganger, so there's that. Yeah, I, I, I could be a doppelganger. <laughs> um, I, so say we all. I, uh, oh, I pull my dagger and fling, you pull out a big Jesus. sword. I uh, can do that now. It's a lot longer than yeah. Is your sword a mimic? No. It would be a lot cooler if it was. Put it back away. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it shrinks back down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh. Are you okay with the whole potentially facing the rose thing? Yeah. Are you kidding me? You're and not scared? No. He's got to go. I mean, am I nervous? Of course. Am I scared? I, f I feel like that's, it'd be unfair to other people to be scared when he's hurting so many. He's okay. gotta go. It's okay to still be scared. I'm nervous. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm anxious. 
But I, if I was going to die, dying fighting him would at least mean that I, my life meant something. Either way, um, I'm really glad you're back. I'm really glad to be back. And I look forward to getting to know you. Yeah. I'm, it's weird getting to know me, too. I wonder if Akira remembers anything. I'm sure she does. I hope so. Okay. Uh, that's I mean, me. she got Biblio back, so yeah. With that, Harold. Oh, shit. <laughs> you get a tingling sensation in your mind as you hear a familiar voice that startles you at first. Avrin you- said when you disappeared that you were safe back in Waterdeep. But I finally had time to cast Sending and find out for sure. Please let me know you're safe and home and that Biblio made it there too. I'll just keep trying till I hear back. Oh, sorry. I'm free from the bag and fine. Still trying to save the world. Also looking for my friend's soul. Deck of many things is bad. Yeah. Avrin said. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Harold? I'm sorry. I, uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Biblio's here. I'm okay. I don't remember anything. Um, I don't remember anything, but I really miss you. Um, I wish you were here so you could get to know my friends better. Uh, I didn't think I was ever going to talk to you again. I'm really glad you're okay. I I don't know what else to say. I I don't know how sending works. I'm just going to keep talking until it cuts me off. Oh, God. You're one of my best friends. I just wish you could meet my other best friends. And I hope wherever you are, you're safe and happy. Whatever thing stabbed me, I hope you got him. I hope you got him. Because if you didn't, I'm going to find him and get him. I, I just hope I remember some of the stories. Oh, God. I was just going to go over and take his hand. Oh, uh, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all emotional. No, I get it. Is it Okira? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What'd she say? Uh, she was just checking to make sure I was okay. She said something about a deck of many things. I don't even know what that is. Can I roll? Sure. <laughs> you two can roll. I was so shocked I missed some of it. Uh, 15. 19. 19. Um, you've heard of it in tale and lore, this mystical... Those are real? Well, you've read about it in stories. You've heard maybe tale of it being real, Vinley, but you can't quite remember when or what it does. You know that it's, it's got a lot of stuff. either great fortune or complete ruin. High risk, high reward? Yeah. Huh. I just want you guys to see her. I want her to meet. I'd like that too. She yeah. saved my baby. She saved me too. I, I don't know how I know, but I know. Okay. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go. Um, babe. Yeah. No life developments. Oh right. Yeah. That's where we were. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Nothing too crazy right now. What, what, did, what did Raniero want to talk to you about? Twelve babies? No. no why is it always the twelve? I'm nineteen! She's so, you've got plenty of time. Just think you could be done having babies when you're 31 if you started now. So, what did you and Rainier talk about? 
Yeah, so it's skin For anyone who is listening to the podcast, uh, V is giving Tasha an incredulous look, so just please stop. <laughs> <laughs> just that weird hand thing that sometimes people do it that are just like just stop strangling you, but mouth. not, yeah. Stop. So, um, Veneer and I have decided to go out on a date for appearances' sake. Appearances? I think, <laughs> I think that's what it's for. Mm. That's a 16. Well, that's what he said. Or <laughs> I rolled a 16. Let's see. Anyways. Um, 21. Do you think it was, do you genuinely believe it was for appearances sake? Or I'm do you think it's a legit date? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Yes and no. Yes and no. Mm. Okay, anyways. Wheel and woe. Like, I hope it's a real date, but, like, I'm a little scared of getting my hopes up and everything going horribly wrong. You know what I mean? Wait, Wait do we need to follow you? Uh, here's the thing. Um, we're going out on Joy Night. Joy Bringers Night. Joy Bringers Night. Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, the catch with Joy Bringers Night is uh, all weapons are forbidden. You will be arrested, locked up, and fined. Oh, well. Yeah. I, like, lift a, a flap and I bring out a little baggie. Is this what I use? I had it last time. Is this. Why did you have her pocket sand? Pocket sand? I've had pocket of sand this entire time. Thank God. I got <laughs> so. Why have you never used it? Because Magic Missile exists. I like pull out a wand. <laughs> That's fair. Look, this isn't like three strings. She'll have Rainier with her, and realistically speaking, the two of them together are going to be able to handle just about anything that I comes know. after them. And I highly but doubt But I'm not a Rainier. chaperone. I think Why don't we let fun? the two of them well, just feel out the date? Well, I think the difference is is we have mm. very little reason to doubt Rainier's intentions, where we had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reasons. To doubt Fair. Glad Gladriel? Gariel. Gariel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gariel. <laughs> Intentions. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm bad at names. Why are you making faces over there? You make lots of faces. I just remember we're supposed to go to the carnival. Huh. Oh. Hey, or okay. the fair. The fair thing. Double date. We can totally go to double date. With Gariel? Yeah. Yeah. And then I will whisper to her, and then you two can lose them halfway through the date. I mean, like they ditched me last time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not bitter. I heard that. <laughs> what did she say? Don't worry about it. Okay. So, anything else going on with you? That is pretty much it. How are you doing with the whole, like, bar mom thing? Ooh. What do you mean? Well, you got the hit worst of it. hard when we were at Rainier's house, and then we wound up there, and I figured that might have gotten to you. I mean, yeah, I still have pretty vivid nightmares, but besides that, I think I'm... Um, uh, Dealing and just kind of want to beat something up. Okay, fair. So let's go do that. Almost done. I'm I'm fine. I uh. there's nothing new in my life, other than my friends. She took a bath uh, for the first 21 time. Twenty-one insight. Are you fine? <laughs> she took a no, bath. I had a great bath. I'm just kidding. <laughs> how was your How was your first bath? Yeah, this is weird. Um, are you fine? Um, no. What's going on? I like killing things. Oh. A lot. Yeah. So does he. Um. Well, no, he does it really well. I don't know if he likes it or not. That's a conversation for another time. What yeah. are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know that thing that happens when I kill people? Yeah. That scares it. me. Understandably. Can you choose whether you do it? I don't know. I've ignored one, but I felt fine during it, so usually they make me feel perfect. 
I also have other feelings that I don't really know what's going on. Some feelings make my heart beat really fast. Others make my heart stop beating. I turned into a lich in the far realms. Wait. Oh. A lich, is that like a special kind of witch? No. Wait, no, it's not. It's a it's, uh, terrifyingly big, scary, undead it, thing. Yeah, I must like, have missed that in bard college. It's like, how? I really missed a lot of classes. It's like one of the nastiest, most an, commonly discussed undead. In, in, it's in a lot of storybooks and yeah. stuff. Well, Evil I liches. I don't read a bunch of fiction on undead. Continue, Vinley. I killed all of you. There's a lot of mysteries going on. In one blow. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Does this have any bearing on feelings, reality. We all saw things in the far realm that weren't real. We were changed in certain ways. I don't blame anyone for the actions they took there. I don't blame myself for what I did. I blame myself for how I feel about it. Were you satisfied? I was happy. That could have been implanted in your mind. I don't know. Would you be happy? Do you want to kill all this? No. Okay. Do you want to be a lich? Don't answer that question. Fenley? That power was something else. Fenley. Power's fleeting. You don't want to kill us. You just said it. You would not be happy if you killed us. So, it's okay. It feels like there's two things fighting inside of me at all times. Yeah, I get that. I don't know which one is winning. I keep mine, and he flicks the mask right here. So anytime I want it, I can look and say, that's the life I'm leaving behind. Maybe you need something like that. Something you can look at and say, this is what I don't want. And even if I think I want it, I can look and say, no, that's the old me. The other thing that I'm, I thought of, and I get it, I do, because I, I think my form may have changed because Lyra is known as the Lady of Mists. Oh, shit. How many times have I met her before? Oh, wait, Lyra? That's what the She's, festival said before. No, it's Lyra. Lyra is the... She's Thanks. kind of the antithesis of Agna. She is the, the patron of deceit and lies and mists and okay. concealment. Do you think it has something to do with that? Why would two different... Deities with such similar names and such completely different. I know! Names. I know! That's so confusing, I hate that. Almost every god is an asshole. Except. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ours are cool. Yeah, ours are fine. Ours are cool. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, I think that hey. this com oh. I won't go lich if you don't ever do what you did before. What? That's a pretty big that ass. Whole I, I don't think she can I help it. That. Okay. That was pretty scary. That much having been said, it's yeah. not like you completely lost control. I don't think it's lich scary. Yeah, that's that yeah. sounds. You said you killed all of us in one blow. No matter how metal that sounds, I don't think it's. Oh, like a fireball? Yeah, but. Oh, Harold! Fireball. Yeah, I, I know. Way dead <laughs> It's a black flame. Oh. Um, I turned the fireplace to black. So kind of like that. How about you both just promise to not kill everyone and we can trust that. Move forward. One last thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get there, V, what do you think we should do? I'm sorry? I, I, I was asking when we get to the actual bar, how do you want to handle this? Oh, I'm sorry. Boss has the floor. What's going on in your life, boss? I'm not fucking Harold. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I That's did all it. you have to say? There's nothing else going on in your life? Look, no. man, I tried, okay? I tried. I, I was giving you the out, and they... I'm sorry, I tried. I genuinely appreciate that you tried. I, I gave it a shot. Uh, what do you mean? Like, what do you think the plan should be? How do you want to handle it? We gotta get in, we gotta find these doppelgangers, I know we gotta talk to three strings. So what do you think the, what is your idea for that? I am leaning in. 
I honestly didn't think about it, and I don't normally ever get asked this, and you just go with what someone else says. I know, but I'm interested to know what you wanted to do. You don't have to like. It doesn't have to be like a tech okay. involved plan. Just what do you think the what do you think the. So method? we're gonna talk to three strings. Yeah. Stop it. What? I'm interested. Well, <laughs> I guess. Um, Rem remind me who we are suspecting as doppelgangers. We don't, know, we don't. I don't think there's anybody specifically suspected. We just know they're in there. That's tricky because if anybody in here could be a doppelganger, how could we potentially sniff them out? I guess is there a magic-y way to do that? There might be. Um. Uh, do you guys have any sort of mind magic? No, no, absolutely not. I, I used to. And we don't know what the doppelgangers want, and we don't know who they are. We just know they might be in a location. Right, so what would we do to get that information? Well, I guess first we'll figure out, well, at least we know three strings, and so we could probably double check to see if three strings uh, is a doppelganger. No, wait. Good plan. I can cast a zone of truth. Yes. We'll go in and just cast a zone of truth everywhere. I can't do it everywhere. Oh, well, how big is it? I think it's like 10 feet, maybe? You create 15. a performance that's so great that everyone has to be shoved in the same location because they're all going to want to come see you I mean, and they be can close. still, like, weasel. I'm sorry? But it's still a better chance than we would have had without it. It is. I mean, we have nothing else to go off of. Okay, so you can do, like, a performance probably You'll get with 10 three minutes. strings. Well, first... So we have to wait on the signal. We can have a signal when we talk to three strings, and we'll and and so first we'll tr we'll we'll talk to him to try to figure out if he's a doppelganger. And then once mm. goes as clear, we can have a signal for if we think he is one, and if we think he isn't, we'll tell Seisha you in three strings can do a performance together, right? And I'm sure we can get everyone like in on it. We can ask everyone to dance. Come dance. Yes, we'll create a dance floor. I'm sure Davil won't have a problem with this. And we'll give it the dance floor 15 no, foot radius. Dermon. Um, Dermon. Durgan. And then you cast Durgan. the zone of Durgan. truth. Durgan. And then, oh, we have to talk to people about dancing. Okay, but then um, you guys can all be, we can all be part of it and kind of like. We can interview the crowd. Smooth. They're. Distracted, perfect. Yeah. Sounds flawless. Let's do it. All right, mm. let's go. Okay. Okay. You guys are <laughs> let's. I head out the door. I head out the door. I go walking <laughs> up oh. quickly so that I can get behind, beside him, and I'm like, I'll be right back. I gotta catch up. I run downstairs, get some bacon, run it upstairs to, to Biblio, to Biblio yep. and then come running back downstairs. I'm just like, as we're like alone, I'm like. <laughs> For the first plan she's ever come up with, not terrible, is a little meandering, but we got there, we got there, right? Yeah, we ended up at a dance party. <laughs> We're gonna put everybody in a dance party and cast spells on them in the open in Dernan, who is a seasoned adventurer's tavern, who will automatically know what we're doing. This isn't the first time I've made a dance party in that place. Granted, How I did... also got kicked out the other time. How did they respond to that? Well, they threatened Ooh, they to throw kicked... me down the portal, and then uh, <laughs> when I started crying, he felt bad, and he threw me out the front door well, at first. Harold, your tears solve all the problems in the world. They apparently. were fake. They were so <laughs> fake. Well, we can add that to our convoluted plan, too. You can start fake crying, and then, I don't know, maybe angels will descend from the sky and make everything better. But you know what? <sighs> this is what you said, so this is how she's going to do it. Fine. Weird plans still work. Hey, are you okay? I'm just eating bacon. Is Billy bacon. eating bacon? Okay. okay. Don't let any pigs upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are making your way to the tavern? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30 to 50 of them up there, you'd probably be fine. All right. It'll be two silver to get there. <laughs> 30 to 50 feral hogs. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you deal with 30 to 50 feral hogs. hogs. Yeah. One, One minute. Hog. How am I supposed to deal okay, with 30 Okay, I'll minutes. pay the two silver. Okay. Okay. One thing I do hang back, oh. grab you. We need to talk tonight. Okay. About what? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> all right. Carri carriage ride goes. You all make your way. All, all twelve of our children. Did yes. either of you really not have a plan at all? 
I didn't know we were doing this until I just thought y'all were going to go talk to Three Strings and see what he knows, yeah. and then we were going to go to the other place. Yeah, I didn't know this whole thing uh, even required a plan. I didn't know that they were all going to be in the bar. What if the whole bar Well, Harold things? talked to me yesterday, and he said, you know what? V is amazing at coming up with plans. She has a bright mind and excellent thought processes. And you know what? He convinced me. And what you've just said was stunning. Absolutely stunning. Insight. Boss, <laughs> 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 oh, no. I am so proud of you. Four. Mm -hmm. Uh, 13. Oh, God. <laughs> I pick it up with my pass. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this oh, is wait, what yeah. you feel you need well, to do. you rolled, Damn, though. No, I know. <laughs> if this is what you feel you need to do, then I am eager to see the results of it. Well, if nobody has any better ideas, I'm honestly shocked. I don't want to step on your feet. This is your moment. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> It, we, we have been to this tavern many times. If there was anybody who was going to get people dancing and all up in one place together, it's us. I have total faith in you two. Genuinely. Okay. And I think he does too. And we're going to show him how good this plan is. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. You make your way <laughs> to the yawning portal through the carriage ride. And as you walk up to the entrance of the yawning portal, you pass a missive board that you've passed multiple times typically littered with the current high bid wages and those within the well, local advertisements, and the occasional adventuring missive post. This time, a familiar face catches your eye. A red tiefling with wavy horns that roll back over the crown of his head, of slicked down black hair with deep blood red pupilless eyes. Above his head are the words, Manhunt for Malbraxis. Below is a small paragraph. Criminal assassin known as Malbraxis Akamimenos, found guilty for brandishing weapons with due cause, uh, without due cause, hampering justice, vandalism, assault on a citizen on multiple accounts, vulgar, uh, burglary, uh, disturbing the peace, robbery, and murder, now missing after an escape from Castle Waterdeep, wanted alive. And in big, bold lettering at the very bottom, similar to the words up top, it reads, Reward, 200 dragons. Hunt and we will go. Hunt and we will go. Hi, ho, here we go. Rose caught him. He was gone. You wouldn't happen to know where he disposes How? of corpses, would you? Yeah, at the bottom of this fucking carriage. What do you mean mm. he found him? How do you know? I saw his lipless, earless body. Well, he had ears. He didn't have. Uh, yes, he had. Um, his yeah, lips were. Uh, ripped apart so it always looked like he was constantly smiling and his eyelids were ripped off. What? I explained that. When? When I got in that carriage. Got in what carriage? I never told you about no. my, I'm pretty sure I told you about my trip with the Rose. Which is why you all agree now that you yeah. go in pairs. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I don't think I was there. I don't remember that at all. Well, you would, I'd imagine. You seem to have really good memory all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah it's gotten I, a lot I got better. Pulled into a carriage by the Rose, mm. and he wants the stone, obviously, and told me mm -hmm. he would basically mm -hmm. kill all of you if I don't give him the stone. And uh, to make a point, he showed me Malbraxis at the bottom of his carriage uh, after the Harlequin had dealt with him, which is a gruesome sight. I'm sorry. Malbraxis uh, was in with the wrong crowd, ma'am. Do you think we're going to be welcome here, having opened another... We're just not going to fucking talk about the other bar, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a good plan. That, that I'm excited to be a part plan. of it. Yeah, exactly. We're yeah. never going to mention our fucking bar. Okay. All right. You enter Dernan's famous tavern once again to the sounds of livelihood and merriment. A familiar red-headed woman with silvery green eyes comes by with a smile on her face carrying a tray full of steaming hot meat pies whose aroma is hard not to salivate over. Hey, she can be seen gliding from table to table in her chipper demeanor, serving all patrons. It's amazing how much it looks like a one-woman dance of a hardened tavern veteran. Well, hey there, shall I fetch you? 
a pail of water with a mug of water to wash it down. <laughs> <laughs> Yagra's by the stairs, earning her winnings in a game of Dragon Egg. Thank Give me you. two shakes of a lamb's tail, and I'll be right with you, dearies. I, for that information, I actually uh, flip her a silver. Okay. Hey. And with her other hand, her free hand, catches it, wow. tucks it in her apron. She really is a veteran, <laughs> a veteran of the taverns. I'm um, going to be her when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you can that's roll history on what dragon egg is. Yes. Can we all roll that, or I'll let somebody else roll that. <laughs> history? Fuck it. I got a good history. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all I got... Uh, Plus three to history. Four. I already rolled. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> uh, it's a 15. 19. Yeah. Oh, snap. Plus six. Okay. Um, those, uh, what were your totals? Uh, it was a 15. 19. 19, okay. Dragon egg. Players gather around the table to throw copper nibs called dragon eggs in this game to try and bounce or toss them into a large mug of ale in the center of the round table. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. If you miss, the egg hatches, and you must represent the hatching of a dragon by putting a gold into the pot or on the table, or choosing to run away from the dragon, which means you pull out of the game. Last player left takes all of the gold. At the far, uh, and then mm. as you're looking around. Oh, yeah, we are. At the far end of the tavern, deep in the shadows, tucked under the stairs, is a crowd of people yelling and hollering as you hear the splashing and sinking of coins and liquid, as well as a smattering of coins across a hardwood table. Standing with her back to the far wall, with an uh, easy eye on the door and stairwell, as the infamous gray-skinned half-orcish woman, without any effort, she tosses another nib into the mug as the following two miss. One, pay, uh, one pays up, and the other bows out. As you approach, you see a smattering of about ten gold gathering on the table. Looking around, though, you do not see three strings. Um, I go ahead and sit down at the table, taking the spot of the guy who just got up. Okay, got it. This is where I want to be, anyway. What are the rest of you doing? I'm going to go join the game. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna look for three strings. Yeah, we're gonna look for three strings. Um, I guess, uh, do we see anyone who's working the tavern that we could approach to ask? Uh, I mean, there's Bonnie, there's Durnan, uh, as approachable as he is, and there is always a, a spattering of people filling the bar. Okay, um, so we can ask Bonnie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what can I do you for? Uh, I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I'm looking for three strings. Uh, you stepped out for a little bit. I was gonna go pick someone up. Oh. And then he'll he'll be back in a, uh, no time. In the meantime, can I have a pie? Uh, yes. Uh, same as always. Yeah. Okay. I'm you? Uh, uh, I uh. Darn strap. <laughs> <laughs> of course, dearie. You? Oh, I'm with them. Okay, you're going. I'm with standing them? next to Tasha, like trying, like throwing coins into the cup. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I can do this. And um, we're gonna just, I guess, keep an eye out for three strings. Uh, she tells so us it's gonna be a cup? little while. Oh, so I guess if we got time, you wanna join the game? No, this yes. better be oh. skill based. Yes. Okay. No! Hey, everybody, we're just gonna be taking each other's money away from each other. Yes, just saying. I got a coin. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this better be skill based and not me actually throwing. I mean, I've got a soul oh, coin in my bag. This better be me actually throwing something because I used to play this game in college a lot. And I imagine that V has also played this game a lot. Um, so yeah, no, I will, uh, I guess we'll go back to the table and we, we also will uh, join the game. So. I have money. I could get a pixie piss. Go Man, ahead. How much does a dirty draft called? One, yeah. one gold, is that it? Oh, I can't see that. Uh, a Durnan's draft, I think, was a two. I, I know it was at least a gold. Oh, that does not bounce a quarter. Oh, it's your class coin. Yay. Yay. Uh, there was. Hold on. No, there's two versions, it's right? Heavy. There's the Undermountain draft, right. which is Durnan's draft, but without the special benefits. Right. It has That's the same flavor. That one is like a gold. Durnan's draft is five gold. I'll get. I'll get the one that's not special because I don't need the special. One. Yeah. Cool. I'm ordering a pixie piss for five gold. Five gold. There you go. 
You slam it down in all of its rainbowy, uh, glittery color. Perfect it tastes section. like uh, sugar floss You'll as start it goes down. Again. And, God. and you are instantly elated. Everything is the best. Oh, oh, that's You're awesome. not drunk. I love you guys. I'm going to lean over to Boss and say, I can't wait till she sees someone get her hand chopped off. <laughs> it feels amazing about it. You guys are the best. Inwardly, I am agreeing. But I will not, <laughs> <laughs> but I will not say it Durant's out loud. Draft is one. Oh, Durant's? Pixie Fence is five gold. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to throw coins. As oh, a really? character with my skills. Oh, okay, so the, 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 is the Undermountain is six copper, sorry. Okay, yeah. um, I tip her. Do you want a drink? Gold. Yeah. I do sure. not. Okay. I'm getting yeah. ready to play a skill based <laughs> game. Yes. So you yeah, can play. Yeah, this is not my skill, anyways. Uh, it is basically um, a, dex, a dex roll, mm -hmm. straight dex. Um, and can you I take I a nib, you throw it in, and if you pass, uh, it goes in. If you don't, you have to uh, pony, pony up the gold. gold. Proficiency with thrown weapons? I'm very dexterous nope. in real life. Yeah. Nope. Not nope. in game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> was like, puts it into the side of the mug. Mm -hmm. uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, yeah, I should probably roll, huh? Uh, uh, we're all playing, so. Yeah. Uh, everybody's we'll joining in? Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, no, we're rolling uh, the dex roll for throwing okay, the Okay, as, as everybody crowds in on this table, joining in, it seems like it's completely allowed. Because it doesn't matter, you just you're just throwing money yeah, at exactly. a table. Um, Yagra kind of looks at you. I say her. I say, are they well? I say to her, in thieves can't. I need you to set up a meeting with Davil. I think I may know a way for us to get everything. And then she says, "Don't look so doom and gloom, brother. If it's gold you seek again, it's gold you must pay. Have a seat and eat a meal or two. Translation." It's good to see you, Doom Raider brethren, again. If it is the golden-haired man you seek, again, then it is gold you must pay. Come join and gamble for a game or two. I do. Roll it I put a gold on the table. <laughs> and then she <laughs> looks at you and says, uh, who are these Odiog Lolji Jack? <laughs> I and say to her. And Orcish, you know Ooh. that is shit eating flower born i laugh loudly <laughs> as she says that <laughs> and i say back to her in orcish these are my companions you may find them useful though i will tell you right now purple pants and the big one are harpers so be careful what you say <laughs> i love it that's so cool <laughs> all right Oh my god! And that's the fucking I love it. <laughs> that's great roleplay. Yeah. Okay. She just kind of nods and then looks over in YouTube's direction, and then <laughs> <laughs> throws another nib into hey the <laughs> in, into the ale. I throw one. Eighteen. Right. Got yeah. okay. Sinks. <laughs> um, yeah. Now I, I throw a gold on the table. Oh, okay. Sinks. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah. Sinks. Fourteen. Sinks. Sinks. Four. <laughs> gold, I hit someone and you're out. <laughs> oh, oh no? Yeah. No, uh, I get to stay in because I put yeah. gold down. If it's it's either gold or pull out. Oh, oh yeah. got it. So got you it, can. Got it, got it. I would like yeah, to I'm keep going. I would like gold to gold attempt center? to continue the conversation. No, gold, There's something else fail. I want to know. Got it. Okay. I ask okay. her. Do you know? And say it in Orcish, um, but I don't say. Well, it's like, do you know? Is there a word in Orcish for drow that doesn't say drow? Yeah. Okay. I say, do you know anything about the drow captain in the harbor? Uh, in Orcish, and with Thieves Cant, she goes, she says along the lines of, we may be only the, the only ones speaking our tongue, but maybe not the only ones that understand it. I so say, you too should be careful of what you say. But to answer your question, yes, Davo has told me. Okay. I ask in Thieves Cant and in Orcish then, what is our standing with them? That I'm unsure of. Okay. It's like that is for Devil to know. Hmm. Are you feeding him how to play like it's like strategies or something? Because I, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm trying to win. I put another gold on the table. But Harold, <laughs> <laughs> but Harold's clearly grinning. I mean, this is his friend. He's just messing with her. Yeah. Um, so 
Uh, as and she looks to you and goes, um, it's fine. I'm just pulling his strings. I see. Can't cheat skill. 18. <laughs> I bet I can do that. 18. <laughs> 10. Does 10 14. sink? 10. Um, I think it did. Okay. Uh, 10. Yeah. 10 hits the table. Yep. You missed. Gold. Okay. Gold. gold. Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ, how much gold's in this cup? <laughs> uh, it, in the cup, it's yeah. all nib. On yeah. the table, it's gold. Yeah, okay, and there are 13 go. gold on the table. All right. right now. Nice. 14. Goes in. Okay. Yep. Okay, hold on. 18! <laughs> the gold! <laughs> yep, I it. put it down! Oh, no. Ooh. Yagra puts down a gold. <gasps> oh. 19. All right, 19. Yeah. Four puts down a gold. <laughs> Harold's going to take this one and flick it while he's making eye contact with her and flip it in. And it's like, so, uh, <laughs> how have you been? It's been a while. And she takes it and puts it between her thumb and finger and flicks it like that. And, goes, <laughs> and just like sharp shoots right into it. He goes, pretty good. <laughs> I'm just hanging out with you. I put another gold on the table. <laughs> 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 Where have you the... been? I've been uh, out and about doing my own thing. Where have you been? Here. Oh. I hear there's a lot of cool bars opening up. Maybe you should check them out. 16. 16 sinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I love it. That was, Zero. That was a one. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a one, and I have a minus one modifier. <laughs> um, with that, like, it's good that there's liquid and <laughs> coin hanging because you you, you try and mimic, they're like, oh, there must be a technique. Well, that must be the way to do it. And flicks it, and it just boom, and you see it like teeter and then rock back. But the weight keeps it down. Uh, like, and the Yagra says, I think it's time for you to run away from the dragon. I'm going to 19. I want to chase the dragon. <laughs> 19 flip one in. Don't say it like that. That means something else. <laughs> 21. Yeah. 15. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've put two on the table since... Two okay. gold. Twenty. Yeah. That's what's up. 20, yep. Sinks. Since let, <laughs> everyone's been talking, I'm down. Like, Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> See how okay. many copper have I spent now? <laughs> After a five. couple of rounds. Oh wait, we put a copper. Can yeah, each time. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, how many rounds have we done? Five. Uh, five. Five uh, total. At least five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because oh. I am down five. <laughs> yeah. You've done seven rounds. We've done seven. Yep. Seven yes. rounds. I would say okay. I think it's been more than that. So. Yeah, because everybody's just been like, foof, 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 foof. <laughs> okay. Um, he, okay. She looks to you and openly, not in Orcish, says, just so you know, the other day in our card game, my three of leaves beat your four of doors. You left on the table. The key to winning is having a golden jack in your back pocket as she leans in and squeezes your buttocks so firmly it almost hurts due to her strength. Come back. And once this game's over, we will talk. Um, as she does, is she openly just squeezing my ass? Yes. Translation. Okay. The three of leaves, also called spades, which always point up means third floor up. The four of doors, also called diamonds due to their shape, that, uh, that you left, the, the four of doors that you left means fourth room on the left. The key to winning is having a golden jack in your back pocket. You know the jack of hearts is also called the, called the golden jack because of his blonde hair, mm-hmm. which obviously refers to Dapple. The rest of the sentence along with her actions leads you to believe that there is now a key in your back pocket. Um, fourth door on the left, she said, correct? Fourth door on the left. Third floor. Third, Third floor. floor. Yep. Okay. Um, I... Grasp her hand, I lean forward, and I slide my hand deftly onto her ass. Okay. I'm going to tr- and bring my ear as close as I can to hers, saying, In Thieves Can't and Orcish, thank you for the information. Um, I'll make sure that you profit from this. And as I move away, I lightly bite her ear. Ooh. <laughs> Harold Ooh. is just... <laughs> I like immediately looks to you like Damn. He's got moves. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know what, what 
fucking. Uh, that's who you're fucking. <laughs> 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 Woo. No, that's just for fun. Carol <laughs> takes a little bit of his tea he got and just pours a little out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you head upstairs? Not yet. Okay. Got it. Did you want to enact this plan of yours? We have to wait for three strings. We assume we meet right. him first. Yeah. Finley, Seisha, mm -hmm. would you join me upstairs for a moment? Running from the dragon so soon? I got told to. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. You almost I'm you almost beheaded a cup. <laughs> yeah. Twenty one. Twenty one. I'm not running from anything. Okay. And walk walk towards the boss. Well, okay. more money for me then. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I want okay. to position my chair as you guys leave. I'm gonna kind of scoot my chair into one of their positions to quote unquote free up space. Mm -hmm. But I'm moving so that I can keep an eye on the door for when three strings arrives. Okay. Um, Should I be sober for this? So I'll probably yes. sit closer to Yagra, I'm assuming. Lay on hands for five points. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and you weren't drunk. But that feeling of elation fades away, and you're back to your normal. Yeah, but I need to be so good. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we get you. <laughs> well, we know. We know. Um, no, that was a lot of gold. Before you all make your way upstairs, what is everyone's surface thoughts? Like everyone's everyone's? Yep. Yeah. V3. Everyone. Oh, hold on. I am thinking to myself, God, I really hope Yagra's not a doppelganger. But if we're being honest with ourselves, I really want to meet one. I mean, they have to be pretty cool, right? They basically do exactly what I do with more tricks. I'm thinking about how I hate that Yagra beats me at this game every time, and I really want to win this time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, I mean, it makes sense. He does know Orcish. <laughs> of course he's a trash dog. She's a half one. Yagra, not Agra. Agra. Yagra. Agra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also, next time I take a bath, I'm gonna eat one of those funky mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, the undergarment oh, mushrooms. I have two. I have four. Yeah, you guys have quite a bit. Um, we, seven. we could go into selling them. Um, get, get out of here. <laughs> no. And it was my, but yes. My surface thought is I figured out how to kill them all. I don't know what you're re referencing, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're referencing either. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Just lie. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. Over and over. Got it. Hey, for once, I'm not selling everybody out. Harold, oh God. make a is it wisdom. Yes, I believe. Make it's a wisdom good. saving throw. 15. Ooh, woo. Hold on, I got me. Yep. Ooh, woo. 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 They can't, Sorry. They, they don't can't have the deeper. ability to de dive deeper. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Yay! I know everything about them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they used um, to. <laughs> they can't anymore. No. Yeah. So, okay. I'm using that for my hit dice from now on. I rolled two sixes. Uh, bu -bu -bu. <laughs> Wait. He doesn't like me, though. So, <laughs> you make your way up to the third story, fourth floor. Before third we, floor, fourth door on the right. Uh, yep. Left. On the left. That. The left. Before we go inside, mm -hmm. understand that this is my realm that we're entering. And whatever disapprovals you may have of what I'm doing, do not bring them up in front of Davil. Thus, I I'm here to learn. I'm just saying I have standing with him. Be, be I understand. Prepared. Yes. I'm here to learn. Mm -hmm. We're just not going to send you into a situation without preparing you for us. No, we discussed this last mm -hmm. evening. Oh. And 
<laughs> a thought occurs only because this was easy and not a runaround. I would like to check the door for traps. Ooh, good idea. Okay, go ahead and check the door. Because it's like the last time we did this, it seemed like it would be off. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or not. Um, that's a 20. 20? It does not seem to be trapped. Okay. I go in first. It is time. definitely locked, though. Oh, uh -oh. I pull the key out of my back pocket. Uh -oh. Yep. Uh-oh. Where'd that come from? Unlock it. Oh, my friend. And then I open the door. That's why she grabbed your ass. Nope. Mm -mm. Yep. Yep. Are they, though? So, <clears throat> you open the door into this, the room. This conversation ceases now. Yes. And then I go into the room. Okay, <laughs> you open the room. Um, it has been a while since you've been approached. Since I've been approached? So, since... Both of you, because you're the two that are staying down, right? Yep. You three went up. Okay. You guys put your order in a, well, before you started playing. You guys have been playing for a good while. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys want to do anything about that? Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie's a doppelganger. She knew the usual, though. She, she couldn't be a doppelganger. No. Remember, she started looking really worn out. Sorry. I'm going to purposefully miss. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Good play with you, Agra. And then I will get up, and I'll be like, let's go check it out. Okay. Now just miss. Shouldn't, shouldn't be hard. Just miss. Uh, okay, let me try. <laughs> don't, don't try. You're trying. Why are you trying? I can see you focusing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, All right, you guys both back out of the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can make insight or perception checks. Um, I'll make a perception check. I'll make the insight check. Okay. I'll make a roll. 15. 12. <laughs> Just for okay. Um, I'll say That's V. That's unfortunate. Uh, you start looking around, and you get the strange feeling as a bunch of eyes are upon you. Hmm? I'm getting too comfortable with that. Um, okay. No, not anytime. Like one thing. You make eye contact, you see a distinct few shift their gaze away. And they're always looking at you, like towards Harold. You get the strange feeling as if they can hear your conversations. Of those, you see a finely dressed stage coachman with a bowler hat showing off his long ears. Sitting alone at a table far away from any patron is a red female dragonborn in soot-covered cottons and leathers. You see a middle-aged, androgynous human tolling away at some notebook, desperately looking like they are thinking hard before writing something, like catching someone cheating off of your test in grade school. Got it. You see a half-sized woman who seems to be sweating profusely while hiding behind her large tankard of mead, one that you are not sure is of nervousness like the others or is just watching you closely is an older dwarven man wrapped in the ominous black robes of a magistrate. But what catches you by surprise is realizing since you've walked in, and especially since you've ordered, because she's never late, Bonnie has not approached you. She seems calm, and you catch her looking in your direction from time to time, but she doesn't serve your food. And that's where we're going to end tonight's nice. session. Okay. Holy shit. Um, are we... You're giving the look like we're fucked. Are we fucked? We should only sleep and die. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what a session. Woo. That was very My emotional. Yeah, it literally, I saw nice. it shut off in the corner. I was like, I, that just died. <laughs> uh, oh. Thanks for joining us. Thank uh, you, Pin, yeah, for joining us. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. If you would like to be on camera, come on, please. You'll have to squat that was down. Fucking cool. Yes. Hey. Hello. Yay. 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 Um, well, we'll get some of the stuff posted. We'll get, and you'll see some of the stuff from tonight. But it's they awesome. are amazing. They are. It is um, awesome. A reminder: we're gonna post it on all of our social media and everything. Start checking your extra life uh, email. Yep, we're um, gonna start doing those drawings this week. Those raffles are gonna get done this week, um, and all that um, stuff will be going out through those emails addresses on that. So that way we can get in touch with you if you wanted to get all your contact info to send you your stuff. Yep. And um, reminder: we're gonna be. A, 
game hole. Yeah, and two, just two weeks. Oh. Three, oh weeks. Three weeks. Something like that. Three weeks. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, We're giving Ethan away as a raffle prize. <laughs> <laughs> happy Pride, Atlanta. Yeah, happy Atlanta Pride. Yeah, happy, Atlanta. happy Atlanta Pride. As always, for the be shirts. excellent to each other. And may you always roll with advantage. Good night, everybody. Pride. <laughs> 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 roll with pride. Roll with pride. May you always roll with pride. Good night, everybody. This is like